chest. That was a good chest pass right there. Hundred people, five hundred dollars. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! That's the difference between NBA guys and regular guys. That's Amen. awesome. Just steps up and bangs a shot him first one. One time. Swish, wow. first time. 100 people, $500. Hey, thank you, Tyrese. Why is Draymond Green calling Kevin Durant whack? Is there, what, what the hell's going on? Is there, there's beef there? Well, Do we have beefs again in the NBA? We like that. Oh, I yeah. think. I thought Dylan Brooks was the only guy that had beefs. <laughs> Turns out. Now there's real beefs around the NBA now? There was, there was a lot said by Draymond Green toward Kevin Durant. I don't, I, I don't think this is, I don't think we can say a lot of it on, on these airwaves. You're well, you would never it. because you're like yeah, uh, yeah. super professional. Well, you, you had me say the S word once. Which S word? S H. Stupid? At the SH word, the four letter SH. You how old are you? How old are you? I'm 29. You should never I'm sound 29. the way you just sound. I'm 29. <laughs> you, you had me say the SH. Well, this is just a family. This is a As family. a 29 year old, you should never th- sound. Th- this is a family. You know, this is a family friendly show. No, no it's not actually. There's actually a thing before that. This is like you're allowed to say shit. Don't speak. Yeah. In in SH word, you had me say shit. Oh! Stop that! This guy's terrible. Kick him out now. He just ruined the kids. Just once. Just once. AJ, you noticed the same thing I did. What's that? I wasn't flexing, okay? <laughs> I could have been flexing to avoid this, but I said, you know what? I'm just going to let me be me. And here we are now. Hey, nice tricep, you fat prick. Okay? I understand what you guys are doing angle. here. Tough okay? angle. That's not, it's a straight on angle. That, that's the angle. That yep. is the angle. That, that particular part of the body is always going to get showcased in. Uh, so. He said he has been gravity. last two days. He's got after the arms a little bit. I knew I should. So it didn't just look like a saggy <laughs> I knew I should have canvas. <laughs> I knew it. Is that thing getting stretched out already? I knew I should have flexed. That, I, thing, that thing was. <laughs> I'm going to regret this for the rest of my life. <laughs> but that quote. <laughs> That quote was uh, initially this big. Now, obviously, with the one week of stretch with the hang, <laughs> it's got a little bit larger. Uh, but we appreciate your, your commitment, Bob. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Phenomenal job there, boys. Gonna be back. Look at us taking back. a victory lap. Gonna be home. Gonna be back. Yeah. Look at us. Yeah. That's the problem with this show. Well, Self-righteous mean? sons of bitches. <laughs> but it's hard you know, not to. Are new tattoos? But, yeah, new tattoos well, that's what I'm room? saying. It's hard not to whenever you got people like one half of the hammer down. Ah. Cowboys, Tony Diggs, Thank you, Tony. Sweet tech. Thank you, appreciate it. Looks super sweet. That's a that's a great goddess, dude. Mm-hmm. Family. Seven hours. Seven hours. Right here, just like this. Yep. Yeah, that's good. That had to lay on the stomach. And con man, con, that had to hurt. You got it like on one of the most sensitive spots, didn't you? Yeah, you got uh, right was, there on your tricep and your bicep. You got yeah, it on your penis. It was fine. It was fine. <laughs> Don't you worry. Can you tattoo the shaft? Oh, yeah. People uh-huh. do that. You right? can do anything. People do the, yeah, the thing true. through it. Yeah, the Prince yeah, Albert. Prince Albert. Prince Albert. Yeah, well, that's a piercing. That was wild when I heard about that. Mm-hmm. I said, "Excuse me, DJ Pauly D." <laughs> Excuse me. What does you he do? do? Does he have that? First episode of Jersey Shore. Yep, he's gone. Oh. Okay. Hey, I don't know how you battle through. That's some mental toughness that I don't think I'll ever have. Nope. But thanks to them for doing it, though. Showing yeah. us what's possible. That's right. Amen. Showing yeah. us what's possible. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Have it rolling right now. And he looks very emotional. He's, yeah. Yeah. How big his arms are. Yeah, he's jacked, dude. Jeez. It isn't even the collision I remember most, but the feeling before of what in the fuck is about to happen. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We were live there. Jason. There we go. Perfect time. That's awesome. Whoops. That is awesome. <laughs> All time. Might as well just keep playing it. Yeah. Man. yeah. Dick Good, welcome back. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, yeah. That, that's a five hole if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yeah. We're not There's the no only way. one. We're not the only ones. I bet NFL Network. Oh. Uh, Jason, we look, yeah, let's go back to it. Yeah. Hey, Richard Good and your team over there. I, I think Jason might let him play. He's earned it, by the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's allowed to do that. Is he talking about Nick Foles' penis? Is that what he said? Well, I think he was talking about just being like the bravado. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, oh, because I thought they called him Big Poles Foles. Figuratively or? Well, sorry, no, no. was that, AJ? It wasn't Big Poles no, was Foles. Big. Was, it, was it being literal or was oh, it, it was Big, big Richard. Richard? Yeah, Big, yeah, big oh, Richard. Big, big Richard. Big Dick Nick. Yeah, that's what they called him. Yeah. So it's true. Jason confirmed it. Yeah, he said biggest hog on the team. Yeah. No, that's not what he said. That is, that's, well, that's what he that's said. Exactly. Well, I, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a chance that that is what he said. 
He would know. And then he said, I Peterson's walking around. But mostly, I think he said just like, you know, the gusto. Yeah, sure. Oh. Like that type of bravado. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, the, yeah, yeah. that's what I think. Pizzazz. You know? Yeah, boom. Is. The pizzazz. Boom. So it's more like this guy. Yeah. Big as, look at his dick. This yeah, guy yeah. calls exactly. his own. <laughs> You know, balls like, on the over. He's that, big dick. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, wouldn't you say big balls? I know mean, he said balls for Doug for Peterson. Peanut butter. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Coconuts. Yeah. If I had a chance to uh, potentially see Doug Peterson's combine this weekend, he's oh. handsome. Well, hello, Mad Mel. I uh, hope you're doing well this morning. It's good to see you as always. Um, listen, I'm just curious. I noticed that in every single one of those pictures you took, you're wearing the same suit. So I'm just curious. Did did, were you only at the combine one day? Did you only work one day? I mean, you talk about how you're the hardest working guy ever. You're there one day. Like, what, what's going on? Well, there? I don't know, Ty. I mean, are we in Milan at the fucking fashion show? I'm there for work, asswipe. Okay. So yeah, I mean, if if you want to go and play grab ass with people, oh hey, look at my you know, my Versace suit. Look at my, you know, listen. All right, very simple. Yes, I wore the same suit and uh, and shirt combo and tie combo every single day. You ever heard of Steve Jobs? Okay. Turtleneck every single day. Take one decision out of your day. It's a very beautiful, nice suit. $79.99 off the rack at Macy's. Okay. Very, very Ooh. dependable. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm not there uh, trying to, you know, get all the girls to look at me and say, oh, geez, Mad Mel, this guy's fucking sexy. I'm there to let these NFL GMs and pro personnel, you know, staff know, hey, this is what you got to do to win a Super Bowl. I mean, the fact that you didn't even ask that question tells me how big of a dipshit you are and how much, just, honestly, just how clueless you are. So I won't be taking any fucking questions from you for a long time, oh, my oh, friend. Oh, jeez. You know what? As a matter of fact, fuck this. I'm done. Okay, I've given you guys. No, this is bullshit. Whoa. Fuck you guys. Whoa. What? Whoa. What did I oh, say? What the? Ty, way to go. Come is Matt Mel still there? You know, I don't got to do this. You know, they act like I don't got anything to do. I mean, I got hours and hours of film I could be looking at. These fucking assholes are treating me, you know, like it's a stand-up comedy special. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm fucking sick of it. Okay? I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. Fuck them. Whoa. Gee. Uh, sorry. Die. He's still... Look how you made Mad Mel feel. It's an honest question. I thought it was a good conversation. Well, I, yeah. You did attack him a little bit. You attacked him a little bit. I think he overreacted, but that's classic Mad Mel. I think we can, you know, be, besides the way that thing abruptly ended. My, what was that all about? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, professionalism maybe, you know, just a, a tad bit. But it's all right. Draft season's Mad Mel season. If you're Russell Wilson, you want to go to a place that's going to have success? And he's worth nothing. It's like, why not? Are you okay? Are you getting choked up? I mean, I feel like I might be. Jesus. Is geez, that because please. he's not going to New England? Or... Well, it, it, I don't think it has to do with New England. Are you going to die right now? No, I'm not going to die. It might have to do with my DoorDash right before this. But I, I will say. Uh, <laughs> that was the greatest. Uh, uh, some would say that. I would not. Um, Great hour app. and 20. Unbelievable. Greatest half owner. Hour and 20. Pulled into the lot and then left. Got here finally. Got here after an hour and 20 minutes. Five minutes before show starts. Mm -hmm. Finally gets you. Been watching this car drive through Indiana oh, yeah. on the app. <laughs> Looked like the Skyriders spelling out, like, will you bury me? Yeah. Uh, getting all the way here. Yeah. Did not have another order to drop off. Literally nope. have no idea how this became the path to get here. Me neither. We're following along. You're mm. growing in anger. Oh, oh, yeah. Growing in anger. Fuming, Because right, yes. you gave a big tip beforehand. Beforehand. Ordered it early because I was extra hungry. Yeah, because long night last night. Got back from San Antonio, 2, 3 a.m. You know, the whole thing happens. Then finally gets Fi into a parking lot. Finally. Turns around. Beats the gate from shutting back. Yep. Leaves building. We're watching it all take place. Right Outside. In front of Outside we're watching it, we're, too. We just got We're waiting for this. This has become a story over the last hour and 20 because mm -hmm. Connor's obviously a bit dramatic. He did. Leaves. Goes into the neighborhood across the street. Uh -huh. Drives around. Comes back. You shoved an entire four-egg omelet mm -hmm. down your gullet within 30 seconds of our show starting. Yeah. Congratulations for yeah, you handling thanks. adversity. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. You know, I kind of channel my inner Russell Wilson. But if if you were to think from Russ's perspective. I like that. Yep. Right? Clear eyes, full hearts, not full stomach. Full stomach. Mm -hmm. Well, not completely full because the food was ice cold. Yeah, so I think it right. kind of ran through me like and water. And a little broken heart, too, because of how you were Broken heart, definitely. definitely. I was looking forward to that omelet <laughs> for a very, very long time. I got to tell you, I missed the tank tops. <laughs> yeah. You know, I miss old Patty Guns. What happened? Well, it's inspirational. I know, I know. What, but you got to remember with those tank tops, like I was really fat, so those things were very loose. 
You know, those are very yeah. loose, but I only had to do arms there. And then it got like real cold here in Indiana. And I just looked at myself and said, I'm not beholden <laughs> to wearing a tank top every single day. <laughs> nope. I can wear a shirt. So I started no. to, tank tops are coming back though, Bill. We're almost in the season. You know, we're almost in the spring and summer now here in Indiana. I know, but you know, you didn't want, you also, as far as your wardrobe, you don't want to paint yourself into the corner like Angus Young of ACDC. He doesn't want to wear that school uniform anymore, but he did it for too long. Now he's got to do it. See? 68 years old. 68 years old. Still got to put it on. Can't just put on a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. That would that would be you. Oh, God. Then you'd be in your 60s oh. with your grandmother arms. Like, no one wants to see that. Oh. You're right. I made a right. I made a good move. It sounds. I did good for future me. If you what like, is going on with my stupid? Way, yeah, you're a director. Here, you're a holding. producer. You can't get a camera on you. I, I mean, it is a so wild. You can see how much help I had. <laughs> there it is. It's just all over the place. All right. So, what do you want to like pass progressively? Act like you're talking about, but really trashing me <laughs> and my fan base. Let's get to it, Pat. What do you got this time? I want to let you know, obviously, we have a Boston scumbag on the program, of Boston Connor. He got a brand new tat. You're talking about Grandma's yep. saggy arms. Mm -hmm. I got him. He's got a I brand got him, new Bill. tat that says, we're on to Cincinnati, quoted by who? William Stephen Belichick right there. Okay, so we got a big-time Patriots fan on a microphone every day. What do you think of that tat, first uh, of all? I don't want to know. Uh, well, you got to give it up. That's one of the most painful parts to get a tattoo. A lot of guys back in the 90s, when they went for the tribal armband, they would tap out when they got to the inner arm. So yep. I got to give them up for that. Um, uh, I don't know. As far as like tattoos like that, I'm a big fan of a post-it. You know, you just kind of write it down. <laughs> you put it on the fridge. You don't need to put it on your arm. And that's also a very weird way to like, you're going to remind yourself like that? Bingo. Or are you supposed to be going like this to opposing teams' fans, at which point you'd think you'd at least get the shaker weight or something going on. <laughs> yeah, there. We're, we're trying, Bill. Bill it's it's, it's going to come plenty of time till beach season, okay? He got arm shaped. I have heart. to tell you, the Midwest does not look good on you. <laughs> okay? I would agree. I would agree. You got the mullet. You got the mustache. I mean, you got to get back east and get yourself a lot of pizza. <laughs> And yep. start doing your, your your skull crushes, brother. Get those fries going again. Uh, he got he got crushed on the internet yesterday for fun. his flabby arms. And today, I, I mean, and, and now and Bill, today. and now masterclass <laughs> of telling you have to move because of how bad your arms look. Um, he watched. He's the definitely at the tipping point. Yeah, it's either going to get better or it's done. It's, it's hey, we're all going to keep an eye on it. Okay, yeah, Connor, mm -hmm. this is a big moment. Absolutely. Hey, what did I do this morning? It's what? like when Clemens went to the Blue Jays. Everybody thought he was done, and then all of a sudden, he started he started doing curls. That's what you got to <laughs> do. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Just curls. That's it's like right. the rock. <laughs> just moving. You got to do the curls. Yeah, that's it. And maybe even add in some. Yeah. You know, a little extra baseball juice if you need to. And the 2007 Giants never got their credit as one of the great runs of all time. They did it all on the road. And defeated Belichick in the sun. It all became, it wasn't that the Giants won, it was that the Patriots lost. So that's all you guys just hating, hating, hating. You're like the ugly chick right. looking at Farrah Fawcett yep. back in the day. Yeah, I understand. Knowing you're not pretty enough to be <laughs> one of the chicks on the side. You're not even a side chick. Okay, so with all that being said, is that what people are going to get from the Dynasty if they watch all 10 episodes? Because Connor people hates People are going to get what they already have in their heads. Because that's how human beings are. They walk into stuff with their mind made up. That's why you can't hold a comedian accountable for what he said. It's not what I said. It goes into your head. It's cut with all of your experiences, and it comes out like drugs that have been stepped on. This isn't this isn't pure coke anymore. There's way too much Indianapolis X lax in this. You know what I think is a good metaphor for people's brains is your buddy's arm. Thank that you. flabby arm, that's how most people's brains are. They stop learning after they, they stop school. That's why people get dementia and Alzheimer's. They stop working their brain. Well, I and they let think you they know, know everything. That's, maybe even add in some. Yeah. You know, a little extra baseball juice if you need to. Perhaps. I'm, I'm not against science. Yeah, me neither. They got that Royal well, Olympics. Have hey, you heard those about guys are, Those guys are heroes. They used it. I'm not saying he did it. I want to get in trouble here. But, like, I'm well, just I'll saying, do. the guys that did it, you remember what it was like in the 70s? No. I mean, you grew like a horse tail and you like killed your whole family and, and then did suicide by cop. Now, now it's it's like a cream. You just sort of moisturize, it keeps the crow's feet away, and you get you get your you get your frat boy body back. I am tired of athletes taking all the all the hits 
like they're the only ones doing roids. There are so many old dads like me out there just getting yoked again. Yeah, you're looking Standing at one. Standing around <laughs> looking for wife number two. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey, those baseball guys. Hey, those baseball guys. They used to chew gum, mm -hmm. and it would boost their testosterone for an at bat. Allegedly, like the science they were using. Yeah, like, they had coffee beans. They're doing everything. Yeah. They're entertaining us, and they want to keep doing it. I have no problem with it. Have you heard about these? Roy Please, the no, Roy Olympics are happening. The Roy Olympics are taking place. Have you heard about this? Yes, I have. You love it. Well, we got slap fights now. I mean, it's just like we've kind of reached. The limit of, like, you know, once, once skiing and shooting a bow and arrow, whatever the hell that sport was, like, what do we do now? What do we do now? Legal. <laughs> you wait. You wait. Steroids is going to be the next week as far as it's going to be legal. Well, I don't know who's going to win the Olympics. We are worried about all the muscles that are going to be pulled, though. Yeah. But the recovery is about to yeah, be, very quick. be back next day. better than ever. I thought it was the tendons. The tendons snap. Oh, really? So, the muscle grows bigger. Way. First of all, Pat, let's not act like you didn't do a couple of cycles there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're currently enjoying science. You know, hey, shout out to these doctors. Like yeah. place kicker doesn't know what your butt cheek looks like. <laughs> let's, let's just act like we don't know, right? Uh, um, I thought that it, the muscle it would make it bigger, but it did make the tendon stronger, so that's what ended up giving. That's what I heard. That he would. Uh, he won gold? Here you go, ladies oh, wow. and gentlemen. Wow. We have our own Olympic oh, sport here. It is between oh, no. Ty Schmidt's butthole and his pants. Red alert. That's oh. a quick. That's a quick run. Yeah, that's the fastest red alert, he's ever pushed. I've never heard red alert. alert before. There's not a lot of uh, dicking around on the stage either. Those earpieces were out quicker than we've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that was abrupt. Ty is in a bad spot right now. Mm -hmm. Let's have a moment of silence for mm -hmm. Ty and the toilet that is certainly about to be <laughs> embattled. He's had a lot of good fights in there. Mm hmm splattered that thing up and down and need your wet wipes i think at this stage he has put his wet wipe, wet wipes in every single stall yeah from my seeing because sometimes you're not just gonna make it to the last stall yeah extra packs and sometimes you're gonna need those wet wipes for what's coming out of your ass after you had an arby's lunch at 10 30 a.m you have to be sucks. careful too because even though they say flushable <laughs> they still clog your toilet and you gotta call plumber it's like 500 it's okay, the poop is liquid. Yeah, normally True. the poop is a little thicker. Yeah. <laughs> this is a tag team operation between the wipes mm -hmm. yes. and the poop. And the solidity of it is much less than a nice solid shit would be. Mm -hmm. So our toilet plumbing should be okay. Mm -hmm. You know what's not okay? What's that? Ty's butthole. No, it never is. He had two of those sandwiches this morning. You saw them. Cheese fries. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Roast beef? Oh, yeah. baked beef. I believe he had an energy drink as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he had a Dr. Pepper and a Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> if he would have asked Oppenheimer himself mm -hmm. to piece together an ingredients list to make a bigger shit, Oppenheimer wouldn't have been able to figure out something more devastating than what Ty put in his body this morning. The real atom bomb. His guts had been cooking for hours and hours. What? In hours, it was like a slow roast mm -hmm. of a mush that was ready to enter the world in an explosive fashion, and that time has come. Good luck to all parties in there. We appreciate you, Ty. Good luck, Ty. Ty. Praying for you, Ty. Well said. What time do you go in? How long was that moment of silence? I think about like a minute. Two oh nine. Probably two minutes. Yeah. Two oh nine. Two oh seven, maybe. I mean, it should be pretty quick with how fast he had to get there, don't you think? I think it's, it's going to be a lot. Yeah. I think it's going to be a lot. When you hear red no. alert, uh, like like yeah. Tony mentioned, we he, that, that has happened many times. I don't think we've heard I've a never red heard alert. of red alert. This is one of those oh, things no. where it's like I've run into some people before in my life that are allergic to shellfish. Sure. Mm -hmm. They say you might die. Mm -hmm. Of course. Throw closes. And normally they just don't eat it. Mm -hmm. and there are some people that are like, I like the taste of shrimp. Mm -hmm. Die. I need it. I need it. Yeah. And then they roll the dice, they end up in the hospital. Yeah, of course. Ty knows that his guts are active. Yeah, very. And he just continues to say, he doesn't fuck care. it. He just you know? doesn't care. Can I put some chocolate milk on top of this Arby's? Mm. <laughs> Can I eat a wheel of cheese? Uh-huh. Bud. How about an energy drink to mix these things together? Mm -hmm. Give me a laxative. <laughs> and then he is an adult. A very intelligent, accomplished, professional man. Oh, yeah. 
almost shits his pants <laughs> right there. That one, this was the fastest I've ever seen him scurry. Yeah, yeah. not the first time. He was very worried. He was very worried. Very, yes. Right here. There was fear in that yeah. man's gait as he was walking. Should have, you should have felt the push. I, I haven't felt it like that before. It was like a... We oh, should shit. rule out that he didn't make it. Yeah, there's... I'm thinking mid... We can't rule anything out right now. He might be laying on the bathroom floor just poop full. Have Hell, Bill check on him. Have we, Bill check on him. We did some... Uh, like I don't think anybody should be going into that bathroom anytime soon. Well, that's Bill's natural habitat. No, nope, nope, Bill filled. has his own office in the bathroom. Yeah, and his own bathroom as well. And his own workout facility. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. That he built himself yep. in the office. Oh, I, I did see that. It's ridiculous. That's the most... Did you expect something that large? I did not. Hey, do you know Bill <laughs> put some workout forward. equipment together in his office? I did not know that. I walked in. I saw an LA Fitness in his office. I, didn't, <laughs> I did not expect Bow flex. the fucking <laughs> the grandness yeah. of what Bill pieced together. I did not expect it. It was phenomenal. Hey, Bill, do you? I took up a lot of space in there. Took up quite a lot of space. <laughs> yeah. in in his there. office. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking. We have a full weight room in here. <laughs> yeah, I don't but, understand yeah. it. Yeah, but he needs reps in between coding YouTubes, dude. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Bill is incredibly jocked right now. Oh yeah, ripped up. Bill is incredibly jocked. We did some self-scout on yeah. the program. We think it's been about 74 days since the last almost shit pants situation. Okay. This was from the Sharded. 74? Oh. I think it was more days than that. Oh, I was going to say, I mean, this, I mean, oh, if we're including the break, yeah, maybe. I but. would like to know how the self-scout happened behind the glass. Did somebody just say 74? And somebody goes, uh, December 12th, I had it updated at 13 days. And we kind of just did the December. math. December. December 12th, yeah. So, so that's two months, three months. At 29, and then we're, we just got Mondays 31. and Fridays. But and we, we took two weeks the, off. So it should be two weeks, might, maybe minus that. Hey, he's back, ladies and gentlemen. That's a baby, Ty. Oh. Ty, uh, you were back at 2.14.39. Good I think, time. I think it was about a five-minuter in there. Uh, we don't know how the battle went. We don't know who won the war, who lost the war. We saw a sense of urgency out of your gate to the John mm -hmm. that I don't think we've ever seen before as you get your earbuds in. Yeah, that was, was close. Uh, very close, clean and efficient, though. You know, I mean, it, it was just, I basically, I've been a little constipated, haven't had a good poop in a couple of days. So that's why you did the Arby's thing? Oh, uh, yeah. I was like, hey, listen, we're, we're not doing this anymore. Let's kind of... Because I said you kind of put an Oppenheimer together in your stomach. Had to. Okay, so this was a plan. Yeah, Goal. didn't have a choice. Didn't have a choice. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to kind of save it until after the mm -hmm. show. And then I want to say about oh, 20 minutes into Florio, I got a, a very, very tight twinge. And I said, okay, I'm going to try to hold on until, you know, the break and, and get... I got close, you know, no cigar, but I got close. Um, we delayed the break, too. I mean, that was tough. Yeah. yeah. That was well, tough. Some it, things happened. Ari Mirov had a tweet. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I, I kind of felt it go away a little bit, and I said, oh, okay, I'll be fine. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm I'm not going to do the whole shark song and dance again, so let's just. Oh, we were that close, right? Because you were real. Yeah, had, had to move. Had to move. I mean, that was, uh, right you know, hey, no That's time. normal to be... cycle. What would you say? Like, is that a normal cycle where you're, you're constipated for multiple days and you're like, oh, here we go, let's get some roast beef no. sandwiches and some cheese fries and energy drinks? No, 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 that's not I thought you normally cycle. dump your life away liquid dumps. Now I, you're... I do. I yeah. do. Hey, we were all Can wondering we what was better? going on. How do we get it better? How do we, how do we get better from this, Ty? Uh, you don't. I have colitis and IBS, so until they come up Piece with, like, shit. an overnight fix for that... Neuralink. Uh, Elon, get on the Neuralink. The, the, the sports journalism on the other side is going to be yeah. worthy of a watch. Yeah. Absolutely. Has been so far. We're going to... No, this well. is not. We're 40 minutes past the break that's supposed to happen. Remember, sure. this is, the only reason why this happened is because... Ty. The code red that Ty yeah. put on himself. Yeah, had we're, we're actually two hours and 40 minutes. Pass a break. Sorry, what? Oh, yeah. yeah. Bill Burr. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's Is right. that real? I oh, got yeah. a piss. We oh, so so bad. bad. So we bad. Have, no, we, no. we have not taken a break yet. No. I got, uh, <laughs> no the piss. We went to a different network and nope. we didn't even take a break. I might piss out my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Ty did. We might as well just wait and see if I do. <laughs> All right, I didn't even realize. Boys, good times today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Long yeah. Enough. This is the longest I've Nick sat. took a break. When Nick left, I was like, this dude, what a it's two makes, and a half hours. Yeah, makes no, I just had to piss, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about it. All right, well, let's take a break. Huh? Yeah. I haven't sat in the same spot for this long while being awake since I was a fetus. <laughs>
<laughs> that Bill Burr hour flew. Yeah, it that did. was awesome. You couldn't eat. The, I mean, I, I was hoping that went till Florio. Honestly. It almost did. Yeah. <laughs> no. It would have, yeah. All right, guys. I had a blast. <laughs> See uh, <you> okay. <laughs> and then he was off. And then we're on ESPN, too. It's been a good day. I've been trying to get a 50 cal tennis ball shooter mm -hmm. yeah. in here. Who can make that? They're hard Those to find. Those guys. The, the marquee Harvard. guys. Yeah, it's definitely oh, yeah, yeah. that guy. Call the dude from uh, Mythbusters. They used to build all those. Well, I don't think he's got it anymore. Oh, oh. that would have been sick. Oh, did something happen to them? Hey, Mythbusters? Yeah, they, they're they good. They quit. Yeah, they quit. Yeah. Well, they busted them. One of them ran still, out of myths. One of them's still going, I think. They busted them all. Yeah. When you figure everything out in the history of the world, what are you going to do? What they, they, what out they figure out the one? Like John Brinkus. Nice. There it is. John Brinkus. That was a good throw. You didn't see it. You're fucking worried about the Mythbusters who I love. <laughs> I was asking the question. They did the myth where whether you walk or run through a rainstorm, who is more, more wet? What did they find out? Same, I think. I mean, who same? gives a fuck? That's the myth they're busting? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, 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 amongst episodes. others. Okay, yeah. good. But people always that's others. the one that people, he pulled. Did you, people you have never say. seen you know the I've seen episodes, but I, I never watched oh, them. Oh, they so good. Okay, they had yeah, I'll they definitely do it as soon as I get home. Yep, <laughs> thanks, guys. Listen, Appreciate between it. this and you calling him Italian, Perfect. you calling him Italian Hulk Hogan. Paul Tuttle is Italian Hulk Hogan. Don't tell me That's not the same show. Just so we yeah, know. That's, that, no, no, that's, that's in the same genre. <laughs> Running in the rain actually made you more <laughs> wetter. More made you more wet. Oh, uh, wow. okay. Because you sweat. <laughs> myth sucks. There's a lot of myths that sucks. That's what they were trying to they prove. They did one I that guess. you could get shot by a bullet underwater or not. That was a cool uh, one. Yeah, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch tonight. If you could really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch tonight, are you? Yeah, yeah. No, you're sure. not. You would I'm actually like it. so pumped to go well, home and watch Myth Did you ever see a show, Adam Ruins Everything? Nope. That one. That guy stunk. That was tough. Have you seen A Thousand Ways to Die? I don't know. Now like that's a show. I didn't like that show. <laughs> that is a fucking show. I've never seen classic. it. It's a thousand ways that different people have died in the most absurd ways. It's it was sick. on uh, Spike. Yeah, classic Spike TV show. Like a guy getting crushed by some lady's boobs. Yeah. And like mm -hmm. Just a, no, 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 a no, bunch no, no. of shit like that. Some guy, if you're a dude, you'll <laughs> love this show. Boobs are killing people. That was basically the premise. Some guy got And you pushed. guys bought no, right I, in. I watched about one episode, and when oh. it was like, this guy left his penis in the microwave for <laughs> 90 seconds. <laughs> I was like, all right. Yeah, I bought voiceover. It's really cool. Yeah, you buy stock in that shit. Did you hear what you just did right there? I just heard a clip in a future documentary about us. What you yeah, just said. Yeah, no, right? I know. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Don't use that, that one. Yep, yep, for sure. If they're still watching. <laughs> You've never quoted another show. Mm -hmm. Could you do that, though? Microwave dick? You're, you're meeting the microwave? If Randy, you could come out of the South Park. Park. South Park, yeah. How do you Randy, close it? Randy Marsh put it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, maybe you cut, a, you cut a big slot so you could your shaft would go in there and... Yeah. Now nah, it explode like a hot dog. You ever put a hot dog in the microwave? It'd be a heated sensation. Hot dog isn't like your your meat though. I don't Same it, consistency. I understand everything. that it has a similar look. Yeah, but you know, kind of feels similar too. Mm -hmm. Good. That's something Ooh, you would enjoy about Mythbusters. They actually build uh they build things that feel like actual heads and stuff. Oh yeah? Yeah. yeah they do. You're right. <laughs> That's yeah. sweet. I actually you guys ever watched The Deadliest Warrior? You remember yes. that? Yes. Yes. Great show. That's that, a great that show. Yeah. Have the, like, that samurai show. versus a yeah. uh, oh, yeah. like a ninja. Yeah. 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 And Bingo. they had like the gelatinous models that come in and some guy would just take a knife and stab <laughs> it like a billion times and just tear it apart. So see? Sing's fucking dead. Remember Sports Science had a good run there for a yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the uh, Kevin Love one with the sumo wrestler was just on my ex the other day. Spin well, move? Was it spin move? No, no that was Dwight Freeney. <laughs> yeah. yep. Hall of Famer. Ballerina. Congrats, Dwight. Baby, Dwight. We're so pumped you got sports science because I was yeah. like, back in the middle of it and then we'd watch it and we're like, could have done something. They had the same pads as pro pads and jersey as pros versus shows. Pros versus shows are great. What is Scoy Great show. Yeah. Peja. P Wasn't Jay the, Jay the host? host? His son. No, no, he, no, there was a guy who looks like him. Who's the host? Uh, uh, I know Petros Papadakis was for a while. Yeah, there Petros. Yeah. Petros. Petros. Not Stoyakovich. No. 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 Hell of a shooter, though. Petros Papadakis. He still does. I he, does a radio, he does a yeah, radio with show huge with Matt Money Smith. Matt Money huge Money. LA show, yeah. yes. I did some games with Petros with FS1 back in the day. Great energy, great vibe. He was the host of Pros vs. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. That was a good show. Kevin oh, Green, great. Kevin, Kevin, Green, episode Kevin Green and Bill Goldberg. Guy. Yeah. Teammates. Yeah. yeah. Rick, Ricky Williams was in that show. Roy Jones Jr., yeah. boxing guys. Yeah. Oh, oh, my gosh. That's not fair. Yeah, that was good old days. That was a point of the show. Was. Now let people watch our show. Yeah. That's back when Buddy, Buddy Velastro was rolling. Look Ooh. at KG. That's Bill Goldberg wrestling, baby. Number F. A to the J. I was on Pros vs. Joe's. Man. 
Did he talk to you? Did you ever talk to him about this? Yes, we showed the clip. We made him show us the clips and everything. Oh, he's like, yeah. I did all right out there. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the greatest, he's like, right? He's yeah. He's the greatest human, greatest football person alive. Yeah, like there's nobody like there's. There'll never be another KG ever. They he's, love him in the wrestling business as well. Mm-hmm. Everybody loves him. Oh man, his wrestling clips are awesome too. He's he'd get into high knees and then do like up downs and hit like he, everything. He we watched those clips as well too. He would he'd get upset sometimes. We'd pop him up. And, KG, look at you, man. This is awesome. What he Cobra Strike was his thing, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. Cobra Strike all day long, all day. Everything starts with power. Yeah, this guy sucks. Oh, you uh, guys! Nice shot, it, loser. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Set it Tell up. Let's hit a good shot. What is this? Two. Is this? Right. Is this two? This is uh, seventeen, bub. No shot. Shot. You fucking dipshit. Set it up. <laughs> what shot is this? What shot is this? So, hold on, I've got a club. Hold on, I'm gonna hit a shot. This guy's drunk. Just like yeah, that. Yeah, What What wow. shot is this? Is he slapping the bag? But what's it to clear those bunkers? 170 in the air. What are you oh, laying? Oh, that's his caddy. 170? Why you got a wood out? Yeah, Boy, it's embarrassing. He, he only hits at 250. This is a par four here. Dan Orlovsky on stream uh, songs. Par five. Driver. It's a driver off this the one hard, bud. 170? No, 170 clear the bunkers. 300 to the flag. Okay. Let's go, Dan. Put it on. Knock it on. He likes it. All right, we're fine. That's fairway over there. Fairway. Over there. He's on the other hole. Over there. We're good. Hey, come on. Hey, make sure you tip that guy. Okay, that caddy. Let's make sure we're tipping him. That's L's. Is there Ernie? Ernie? Oh, Ernie? Shit. Hey, hey Ernie. Um, Foxy was just out of South guys, Africa. Yeah. Why are you guys live right now? Well, because people are fucking working. It's Franchise Tag Tuesday, so we went until 4, and now we're just literally wasting time to see how long the show can go, you know? They're great, man. All right, get a bird here, will you, pal? I have zero on the day. I'm going to do everything I can in my, my power to get it done for you, bud. Loser. You remember when he lied to us about your score? Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For yeah. charity. Yeah. Three putts. Six uh, three putts, he for, said. For charity. Ten. Ten three putts. I can't stand Boston Connor, dude. Like, if I could get into a fist fight with one person right now. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. Shut up. (laughs) I'm sure that helps. All right, good luck out there, Dan. We appreciate it. I was uh, was in a wedding that Easterby actually was the officiant. What? Who who was it? How was it? Was that the greatest? When was this? Mary and Joseph? I'm pretty (laughs) – I'm – 99% 99% sure it was Easterby, and it was my brother-in-law, Brady. He got married, and Jack Easterby was the guy. Of course, Brady Quinn would have Jack You Easterby. don't know for sure? Yeah, like how do you, you know not know? I, I, yeah. I, I'm 99% sure. Hey, I'm not, Brady, but I'm pretty, Brady pretty sure. Call call Brady how do you not Brady know? Time, Brady. That's not like a... I am pretty... This was like 2012, 13, whenever it was, I'm, and I was... Yeah, I remember sweating, standing up there, and I'm pretty sure because he was. And were you like, damn? You know, Jack, Jack was vibing. Jack was. Guy, he was. This guy's it. got a great message. This guy gets it. Holy shit! Is he operating from the same Bible everybody else is? Done <laughs> Just God, off the top really? of the head. This guy's phenomenal. This guy's gonna run a team someday. Mm-hmm. I I just looked it up on the internet. It's true. Wow. I didn't need AJ. Where the fuck have you been? We, yeah, we no had a full yeah. Jack Easterby, didn't we, in the last we did. T- five years? Oh, my. We had shirts. I'm a Jack Easterby guy we with did. his face on it. And, oh, hey, thanks for, you learned something new every You're day. You're such yeah. a I prick, just thought about. I just thought about okay. that Bombo was talking. <laughs> yeah, like, okay. yeah that, that was Easterby. Okay. I didn't know him at the time. I just knew, I, Brady was on a team with him somewhere. Brady Quinn did not answer. Okay. But he's working out. He has like seven shows he does. There he is, right Holy there. Holy shit. Is that him? Are we sure? <laughs> you tell me, AJ. That's I know, him. I know like 80 bald oh, yeah, people who look like that. Slender Man? That's, that's Scott Van Pelt. It's half of my uncles. <laughs> Golly, how, what did Brady Quinn do to get to heaven? You know what I mean? Immediately. Mm-hmm. Nope, did Jack baby. Eastby do your wedding? <laughs> yeah. If you're a Greek that's god. That's a one-way Guaranteed. trip. Guaranteed yeah. ticket. You're in. Teen, yeah, it was in the '60s with the amount of quarterbacks that had started. What can they do? There's going to be what something. Can you do. They're going to do. They're going to have powerpoints. Yeah. Oh yeah. No hip drop tackles, probably. <laughs> yeah. No, change the rules. That, that was tough to describe. No way. Get it out of the game. <laughs> Isn't there like there should be like malicious intent hit mm-hmm. yes. or tackle? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. the hip drop tackle thing. Whenever people say it, it just makes you sound like 
Okay, and I guess in rugby they have the hip drop tackle to something. Rugby and football a little bit different. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because sure. sure. yeah. of leverage and how it's in. Why yeah, but they're trying to teach you how to rugby tackle now. That's how they're keeping people's heads out of it. At a young age, they're teaching people to rugby tackle. Yeah, and rugby, rugby tough. Listen, rugby, oh, very tough yeah. sport. Rugby oh, players, yeah. very tough. We got yeah. nothing but respect for rugby. But it's a different collision. And the reason why is... Because you don't have a helmet. Yes, because you have. <laughs> you got a helmet, you're going to use it. Yes. The weapon. Guys. Guys, we can't say it up. Inside voice. Gentlemen. Yeah. Gentlemen. Keep it inside. Nah, there's no inside voice. Like, it's going to, there's going to be glancing blows. There's going to be head and hands. Like, it's going to happen. And he who is most comfortable with helmet, normally one who is going to utilize helmet a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I'd say. Like, AJ, you know, at a young age, they put him in the ring. Yeah. yeah, he knew. <laughs> exactly. In Ohio? Yep. And it, at first, he was, like, yeah. getting beat up. Oh, in second grade, going against high scorers and bowling the ring. Boom, mm -hmm. bang, Jeez. bang. He's getting beat up. And then he went yeah. home that night, and Pistol said, you look like a little bitch out there. Mm -hmm. Toughen up, kid. So he went to his room, helmet on, and just started banging it in his stuff. <laughs> yep. Bang, boom, bang, boom, bang. Showed his piranhas. Bingo. Mm -hmm. And then when he was in third grade... They put him back in that ring. Oh, <laughs> That's Kirk Curb Street how that went. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. That's Kirk Curb, Curb Street how that went. <laughs> Ain't that right, AJ? We're throwing that thing around. That's what we turned to. I was in to. high school. Well, I don't think I yeah, do not. I am not a fan school. of having little good. kids waste head contact in practice or like I don't think little kids should be banging all day long. There's I. You well, mentioned it earlier. There's some of those, yeah. There's some of those clips. Nice. My bad. Nice. Some of those clips on there of these coaches that I. Sorry, it's hard to get past that one. That one just came. I don't know how it happened, but some of these coaches the are criminal. Some show. of the, dr the drills, oh my God, the, the drills they're oh. doing are criminal. Was that with a boxer? No, never mind. Oh no! Oh no! The, uh... Oh yeah, that's a weird situation. Yeah, the internet's alive right now. What? Very. They're they're saying this is going to be a crazy year. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm just okay. saying. The farmer's almanac. What I have been reading. Uh, farmer's oh, almanac. It's going to be a crazy year. All right. A lot of rain. The internet is awesome. Greatest yep. place of all time. Mm -hmm. Also, <laughs> same exact time, worst, worst. place yep. of Absolutely. all time. And thank God Andy Reid, when he drafted Travis Kelsey, didn't Ooh. care. Mm -hmm. And thank God that Andy Reid brought Patrick Mahomes in there because watching those two play football together has led to people robbing fuck freaking. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Good catch. Good catch. I Good catch. Uh, I don't think the C made uh, it yeah. all the way. Hey, I didn't hear yeah, it. No. There's no K. I no think it's not that. No K. Yeah, it depends. You got a jumpy umpire on third baseline, maybe. I measured the C, actually. I think yes, was. he did. Yes, he did. I think it was. I wonder what Dick. I felt it in yeah. my. Yep. That's why oh, I'm saying no. from a. Okay. Being on the other end. You know when you go. Yeah. You know when you go. They caught it, though? All right. All, right. All right. I did go, though. <laughs> yep. Yep. I did go. That's, That's on me. But people are robbing banks to watch these two play football. And we were going to ask a couple more questions, but we're coming up on a hard out. So we'd like to take this time to have a little celebration. Perk. You dropped seven F bombs on ESPN. That's yeah. the most. Yeah. That's the most in our show's history. I assume ESPN history. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I assume in the history of the network, Perk. You just, hey, wait, hey. Way to go, Perk. Yeah. Yeah. the bar, Perk. Hey, 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 hey. That is setting the bar high. Almost high. struck out the side. Seven is a lot. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah he did. <laughs> hey, way to go, Perk. We appreciate the hell out of you, buddy. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all, man. Looking forward to talking y'all to y'all guys again. Hell yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Kendrick Parker. Yeah. Seven. That was incredible. Seven. Of them. You could feel them coming. You could. Towards yeah. The end. You could. Yeah, you knew. So I think what happens, obviously, first two hours we don't say that. There's a couple words that have literally been contractually agreed to, not mm -hmm. to say during. And if it does, it will get muted. Everything else wide open. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Hilarious in, uh, negotiation. <laughs> had to be the first anybody has ever had, but then making cases for words mm -hmm. and then showing yeah. examples in which they could potentially be used and how need that. I can't not mm -hmm. have that. Mm -hmm. that has a, we have to, have, the soul of the show has to remain, mm -hmm. you know, like, and I'll give up, okay? That's the word we enjoy. Yep, well, we won't say it. It's the greatest word of all time, for sure, best. but we won't say it. 
Perk just coming in and dropping seven of them. It was maybe Sick. the greatest thing awesome. I've ever watched. Yeah. He doesn't care. That's, awesome. Just lets it eat. I think what happens is a lot of people see our third hour. Yeah. Yeah. And then they see clips. Mm -hmm. Third hour just on YouTube, ESPN Plus, TikTok as well. Whatever, you want. Later, whatever yep. you want to say. I get some messages from people that don't know that I think they're potentially watching on ESPN Plus, and then as soon as we're off on ESPN, is somebody lets a buzzsaw off. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, 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 my kids were just. Well, well. So we will delay well, a little bit more. We will okay, delay. Okay. We okay. will allow. 205. Yeah, the delay to take place because that is very valid. I can sure. understand because mm -hmm. people do watch on ESPN Plus. But Perk, that's every single interview we've had with him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He has done it. He that's, rips it. Yeah. He's the best. It did help, though, a couple different times. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He needed, he needed it. Good and, good and fastest. Yeah. Drove it home with Yoke. Point would not be proven if he didn't say it. Nope. How about the Cavs are good? <laughs> They're good. good. I believe somewhere in California they were trying to put it to a vote to to ban tackle football or contact or whatever. But can't you just if you don't want to play tackle football, just don't have your kid play tackle football, right? Have him play flag yes. football and let the other people play tackle. Now you got to remember if you don't like something though, you need to eliminate it completely, not just stay away from it. That's 2024. Mm -hmm. I think, don't you think a lot of people that want to ban something like that probably don't know a whole lot about what goes on on the mm -hmm. practice field and the game field? No, they've certainly looked into both sides of it. They understand it completely. They have heard all the benefits and pros and all the stories of people telling about lives being saved and transformed. They heard all that. They just, with their big brains, have decided we don't think this should be an option for anybody because we care about the world more than everybody else does. Mm -hmm. yep. That's what it is, AJ. Yep. I guess this, yeah, we are we are better people than you. That's what they are telling don't us. Don't you eat? We, we are, are better people we than are you. Just, son of a yeah, bitch. Oh, AJ, don't you eat? We're just dumb cavemen, bitch. I thought, right? Aren't we just dumb meathead cavemen? You, hey, you just start doing politics there, and I don't like it. <laughs> yep, don't do it. I don't, I don't like what you Frick. say. I don't, because everybody knows that when you're in politics, mm -hmm. whoever's talking is a much better person than the other person they're yeah. talking. Every <laughs> single time, no matter what. Well, let me explain to you why I'm a better person than this person. Mm -hmm. right? Why is that? I don't even think football should exist. Whoa. Whoa. Are you sure that's the statement you want to make? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the studies of what happens to some of these football players <laughs> as they hop on a high horse? Mm -hmm. Have you seen the movie with CTE, Will Smith, who's a doctor mm -hmm. out of South Africa? Nobody should be able to play that game. Is that how we want American citizens' lives to go? In a van underneath a bridge who can't remember anything? That is why I'm a better human than you are, and the game should be banned completely. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that you see it the same way that I do, and you're a hero alongside me. Of course. That's how it goes, AJ. Yep, yep that, is, that is how it goes, and we are in election season now for a while, so we will see plenty of it. Done deal. Oh, so much. So pumped. Yeah. Think about all the barns right now that are being loaded with high oh, horses. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 Oh, the high horse barns are just <laughs> out of It's like Christmas tree season is, at the yeah. Christmas tree park. Exactly. Hey, how can I get one of those high horses? Yep. I need the highest one of all time. Mm -hmm. I need the one that's going to ride me right into I'm a better human than you are. Absolutely <laughs> everything. Well, yep. That's what I need. That's what they're doing right now, going yeah. stable to stable. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Who well, has the highest horse of them all? Well, we know. <laughs> <laughs> we address the elephant in the room, though. They're eating elephants? No, he's no, talking no. about the, talking I'm about talking about that. I never knew that they called dumplings pierogies. Learn something new every day. I'm not doing it. Who that. said that? You can guess. You know who. <laughs> you know who. I don't I have a couple of names running through my head. Yeah. Go ahead. Yep, those two are kind Let's of hear the, it. the two at the top are the ones. When did you hear when did this person say this? Last night, immediately after seeing the video of Joey Chestnuts goes, Oh, I don't know. Dumplings, dumplings were called broke. pierogies. It's a heavy Pittsburgh type show. I feel like you, Pennsylvania, you understand the yeah. pierogi situation. Mm -hmm. You would think, yeah. And we were all mightily offended <laughs> mm -hmm. immediately. And then his tag team partner, Stuper, jumped in and goes, I'm right there with you. <laughs> yeah. I'm right there with you, Bob. That was talk, obviously. Dumpy has some and weird then, name yeah. for them, too. Rogue, oh, they're gosh. called Rogue Lords for short. Oh. Road, Road Lords? Lords? Yeah, so the, sure, the, so the regular, <laughs> regu short? regular pierogies are pierogies, but if you spruce them up, cheese, peppers, onions, they're called Rogue Lords. What's the long version of Rogue Lords? <laughs> Pierogi has yeah, more Pierogues. letters than Rogue Lords. Does it? That's hard to imagine. Might be tied. Rogues <laughs> 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 and deceptively we can check that. No, I am not a, nice a fan of having little record. kids waste head contact in practice or like i don't think little kids should be banging all day long there's i 
You well, mentioned it earlier. Apparently. There's some of those. Yeah, there's some of those clips. Nice. My bad. Nice. Some of those clips on there of these coaches that I saw. It's hard to get past that one. That one just came. I don't know how it happened. But some of these coaches the are criminal. Some show. of the, dr- the drills. Oh, my God. The, the, the drills they're oh. doing are criminal. Is that what the boxer with no, that everybody? Oh, no. Oh, no. The, uh, oh, yeah, that's a weird situation. Yeah, the internet's alive right now. What? Barry, they're, they're saying this is going to be a crazy year. Oh, God. okay. Oh, I'm just okay. saying. Yeah, I'm the farmer's just almanac. Uh, what yeah. I've been reading. Farmer's uh, almanac. It's going to yeah. be a crazy year. All right. Let's, rain. The internet is awesome. Greatest yep. place of all time. Mm-hmm. Also, <laughs> same exact time, worst, worst. place yep. of Absolutely. all time. And then on ESPN2, it's, uh, it's F1. No, that's what, not a sport. What a fucking joke. It doesn't matter. I didn't know they played that on ESPN. No, me neither. They're finishing up their race. It got close. They're racing, eh? Oh, nice. Are, are they racing or are they yeah. doing the fucking time bullshit time that trial. no one gives a shit Listen, about? Maybe, um, I would assume, in a lot of the F1 people's eyes. You know, just by my conversation with Darius. Of course. Because he's a big F1 fan. Asshole. Mm-hmm. They think we're not intelligent enough to understand F1. What? We do understand. You got one guy that, that wins, is, yeah. wins, and everybody else loses. Yeah, for stepping. That's what you guys have. We got a race here. Indianapolis 500. Mm-hmm. We're there four wide sometimes. Four wide. How's that? Sometimes. You guys are stacked one by one going through these tiny little streets. We don't need eight. It's a fucking time trial. We're yeah. bored as hell. Just give me a break. We're bored. This is it. Where's the other cars? It's a time trial. They're, they're not on the track because it's not a fucking race. It's a stupid. Oh, so we're just, we're so time, time trials trial. happen in IndyCar and everything else, too, to yeah. see. Uh, but they're yeah, time trials. Who's they're doing a good old pole? pole? They're not the main event, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's but this the... is what the races look like, too, though. That's the thing. Like, the races look yeah. like this as well. I assume okay. middle, back of the pack, there's some action at some of these races somewhere. You would think. But every race that I've turned on, it's been a one-man show. Yeah. What's his name? Verstappen. Verstappen. Max Verstappen. Yep. And Sir uh, Louis Hamilton. But he's no he's more. He's looking for a new team. Yeah, yeah. he's no more. Mm-hmm. He's on Ferrari. And we're not watching for the back, by the way. Any race you watch, you're watching for the fucking front. Well, that's like, the TV. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's like, come on. This is so dumb. Are you just... They're nice cars. Hey, very good cars. They are nice. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Of you take them down at a drag strip here in Brownsburg, probably get cooked by a funny car, too. <laughs> but you do have nice cars. I want to let you know. Mm-hmm. Those funny cars, too, uh, those engines were made... You know, obviously there's incredibly intelligent engineers who've done it. But also there's uh, just some guy who lives on a massive farm. Turning wrench. In Indiana. Yeah. Who's turning wrench. Who mm-hmm. also gets a, you know, we got like whatever, 6,000 horsepower in this engine. Yep. Mm-hmm. And he only got into it because he was trying to beat Ned, who was uh, yep. building his own engine. A couple yeah. acres over. Yeah, down there. Ned and Laird. And then now they got cars that are just going... You know, quarter mile and however, whatever it is. So your F1 cars would be cute in that race. Mm-hmm. That would be fun to do it. Sure. But just watching them go one by one and the same guy win every time, like, it's not entertaining. You need Kyle Busch over there. Yeah, you need KY. You K-Y need Connor dude. Daly in F1. Sure. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? That's that's what we... Kyle Larson. But Boom. Kyle Larson, I guess, may, might be the greatest driver of all time. Has to be. It has to be. For yeah. everything. Like, yep. legitimately, mm-hmm. has to be. A lot of Great. practice, though. A lot of virtual practice, though. Isn't that well, how they all are? Well, they're all getting a lot of reps nowadays with modern technology. This all started with Qatar being in the concave for that one year. This but they is- were in that because they were in the World Cup, because they were hosting the World Cup, and the host always gets a team mm-hmm. in the World Cup. Yeah, so is this like uh, the U.S. is now in the Copa America because uh, they're 2026 Maybe. World Cup? Oh yeah, so USA and Mexico yeah. don't have to don't have to qualify. So these other teams have to come in and qualify. Canada, USA, and Mexico are oh, all Canada in well. twenty twenty six. Yeah, yeah, that counts. They got what, each Mexico and Canada. How is Canada's team? Pretty good. Uh, no, we're better than it's we've cool. been, but not that great. No. Cool. Have they ever had a squad? Uh, the best like, team we had was the last World Cup. First time we've been in the World Cup since eighty six. The Canadian women's team, though, good, right? Uh, they are not as good as they used to be either. Oh, it used to be very good though. Yeah, yeah. Way okay. better than they are now. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they were. I mean, what are we talking about? The United States women has just been beating the fuck out of Canada for Canada years. literally won the yep. tournament. Like, how what? Many? Which which yeah, tournament? Which one? Which tournament, Goom? Was That's it the World we're... Cup or the Olympics? The you Canadian remember Nations it? Uh, title. Okay, it was, well, let's okay. talk about curling. Then. It was you at the. That? It was literally at the old office. Don't act like they never won that. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. That. I yeah, really yeah obvious. Of course not. We beat you in curling. Remember? We did. What are you talking about? One time, the last two hundred years. If, for what? Curling? USA beat Canada in curling once last 200 years. I didn't hear that, what you said at the end. It broke up. 
U.S. beat who in what? Turn his mic up a little. Oh, my God. So we, oh, what's that? Curling is oh, your guys' sport. Curling, we've been curling for like. We've been curling for six months, and we beat Canada. That's soccer. Jared that's Allen. soccer. Jared Allen. Jared yeah. Allen. That's the shot to beat Canada. Canada. <laughs> Women's soccer. Hell. Wow. U.S. leads the all-time series, 53 wins, seven draws, four losses in U.S. women's right. soccer versus Canada, and has won six of the last seven meetings between the teams, including a 2-0 victory in the most recent matchup at the 2023 She Believes Cup. You haven't heard you mention that cup yeah. one time. Uh, that's I haven't one, heard you mention that one one time. That's the most important one. She believes cup. Yeah, I don't think that's the most important one. The World Whoa! Cup. Whoa! The World Whoa! Cup and the Olympics Whoa! are the most important. Call Zach Ertz back and ask him. He would know. Get that the Olympic and the World Cup she are more important than win. that. She believes that we will win. She believes that we will win. Uh, can you run the opening intro real quick just so people are reminded yeah, about yeah. this? Please. Please. Program after God, what you just please. About the She Believes Cup. Boom. The following program is a collection of stooges talking about happenings in the sports world. It is meant to be comedic informative. The opinions expressed on this, this show do not necessarily reflect the beliefs of their peers, yep, yes. their boss, or ESPN. There may be some cuss words because that's how humans in the real world talk. Fuck. If you are a young, please seek permission before watching any further. Okay, perfect. That was Gumpy talking about the She Believes Cup, yeah. not any of us. No, you can ask anybody who plays. Important. That is the truth. I play. If it was the He Believes, could you imagine? Oh, oh yeah. No, it would still be, yeah. it's, 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 it would still be the World Cup and the Euros Didn't and the Didn't that Copa one player America. on the U.S. Women's team come up with the She Believes Cup? Yeah, yeah. ask AJ. Ask AJ about that. Well, yeah, AJ, what, who's about the She what? Believes Cup? I've blacked out a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? We just did the intro. I'm just saying, there's so many, how many different tournaments can Gump talk about and act like he knows what he's talking about? He does. He does. Whoa. I, I Whoa. answer every question about it. What do you want from They just added the character up. The thing is. But how do you keep track? How does anyone set a schedule when you're playing? And all like, do these guys have a schedule like six months out? Do they know there's international breaks? For? Okay, I'm, like you just, have your what you're saying is it might as well be a different language. What well, you don't is. listen, you just keep talking instead of listening Maybe to what I'm saying. Maybe that might be right. I told you, you ask questions, time. then you don't listen to the answer. Well, on, in our defense, though, like. It International like, Cup's not an answer to me. It feels like you withhold withhold break. information sometimes. We have to ask the question to get the answer, and it sounds yeah. like we have no idea what we need to be asking questions about. We just learned about the She, she Believes, believes Cup. Uh -huh, yeah. We've been well, talking about it for six bad years. guys. You just learned about it. You're, our you're, you're guys. supposed to teach us. Yeah, you're supposed you to are tell the one. I've been talking about She Believes Cup for years. You never listen. You've never mentioned the Listen She Believes Cup. Oh, I was talking about She Believes Cup years ago. AJ, the international break is when the players go back and play for their countries. So all the club teams kind of take a break. Mm -hmm. The international teams, in the international breaks, they play in the Copa and the CONCAFA yep. and the Europe's Bingo. and the everything Bingo. else. Those tournaments are happening. Then, like, the Champions League and all that, the Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga, the super, yeah. super, S super, uh, like all that. What's league, the best league? Where do you want to be playing? What's MLS. MLS. English yeah, premier. that's that's <laughs> layup. <laughs> Go. Boom. Go. Look, 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 it's on top. Okay. Number one. MLS, number one. Above Champions yeah. League. These are all those leagues where all the international players, because okay. they're representing their countries, go and play for it because that is the NFL. You know, that's the. Uh, How long is the international break? And is it always the same time? International break is always two weeks, and that's yeah. just for like qualifiers and stuff. So when you get to the summer and the domestic leagues are done, that's when the Euros are. That's when the World Cup is. Yeah. That's the problem. That's I was, why, that's I, why mean, I don't bother. It's, What's that all about, Gump? You tell me. I just snored into yeah. the microphone. Every time I say anything He's about the fucking beautiful yes, yeah. game, that's what happened. He's He's stupid American. I nodded off. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. You had two cups of coffee. Today. I know. I'm actually wired. <laughs> what? You just got a heavy breath there? Or? No, I fell asleep because we're talking about all this bullshit that, you know, is boring as hell. What about the United States team? We're winning it all. Well, yeah, I mean, duh, and MLS. But is the what best are we winning? League. I don't know. We, we're not winning the Concave anymore. We're winning the Copa. We're winning trophies. When are we playing? If the USA US? wins the Copa America, that huge. will be massive. Be Forget about the titles of the tournaments. We're winning trophies. Okay, it doesn't matter what it's called. If if there's a ball on the pitch, 
We're going out there, and we're putting that ball in the net. Con man, have to start immediately. You got a new piece of uh, artillery there on the table. Wow. Yes, we do. Yes, what is we that? Do. This is a uh, signed Tom Brady Patriots. Wow. wow. Yeah, yeah. We, we were at the uh, Peyton Manning Children's Hospital Gala, and they say gala. I believe it is gala. but decided- I think that's a tomato-tomato situation. Yep. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I decided, you know what, I, I want to support more so than just sponsoring it because – I'm a season ticket holder of the Indiana Fever, and they are a sponsor, in turn making me a sponsor. And I said, you know what? I need to get in on the auction as well. Figured there was no way that anybody was going to be bidding on a Patriots. Silent time. auction. Silent. You have to sign up. You actually send your text uh-huh. uh, to put your bid in there. You get updates, everything. Yeah, yeah, very simple. I've never been to anything like this, so it, it was kind of exhilarating. Felt like I was gambling almost, mm-hmm. following along with the game because, you know, you are up against other people. At a certain point, someone jumped in, so I was getting texts, a lot of texts actually. So you would getting... bid, like, let's say, a thousand bucks. Exactly, you bid a thousand bucks. Someone bids, you know, a thousand fifty. You get a text, hey, if you want to re- retain this helmet, type in four ten because that was the item number with, you know, eleven hundred to up after after that. And it, and it got up to a certain point where I knew it was mine. I was like, there's no way anyone's going to jump in. All of a sudden, we're getting close to the nine forty five p.m. deadline when it closes. Someone's jumping in. I'm going back and forth with one person. And I'm battling. Hey, I yeah, and I'm going quick at first. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to let this person know, like, hey, if, if they bid right away, I'm coming in mm-hmm. immediately. So they know, like, no matter what you do, I'm coming yeah, in. Yeah, you're setting the tone. Exactly. They're getting a Bingo. in their phone. Yeah. They, they put the thing out. They put it back in. It, it's back. Before, before the phone even touches the pocket. I'm here. Yeah. Hey, guess what, person? This is mine. I'm not leaving without this thing in my hand. Thousand people in the room, probably. Probably, th- yeah. There are 102, 105 tables. 15, 10, t- 10, 10 people at a table. Yeah, 10, 12 people at a table. So yeah, uh, 10,000 people, right? That's, nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. 10,000. It it's a big room. Yeah. I think 1,000 people. It was a huge room. I think it was about 1,000 people. Big room. 1,000 people. It looked people. like 10,000. Uh, but that, that's your competition. It was in the room somewhere. Yeah, exactly. And there are a bunch of other cool prizes. Um, so that's why I figured this is the one. Yeah. This is the time to get it in Indianapolis. Uh, turns out the person I was being against was actually enemy within your own camp. You know? Whoa. Yeah. It t- turns out your wife, Sam, was the one running up the number on, on this particular auction item uh, right before the last bid. We found out. Yeah, there's a video of it, of her telling me. Yeah, I was stressed. I, I was I was pissed. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wasn't pissed. Uh, let me let me say that differently. I was relieved and I was pissed uh, at the same time because I knew immediately, okay, I'm getting this helmet. And two, son of a bitch, this this lady just ran up the numbers on me, but it's all for the children. I was excited to do it. I was happy to do it. And, you know, you got the the Brady portion of the dynasty represented now, which I am happy about. Some people said you looked like The Undertaker last night with that hat that you had on. There was some purple lighting that was coming mm-hmm. down with the way the hair was going mm-hmm. with the jacket. You looked amazing. Thank you. And when Sam Sam told me what she had done, yeah. I was so incredibly proud. Yeah. I never, You know, we had a moment of, like, full-on... I looked her in her eyes, and I said, I'm so incredibly proud of you, my wife. <laughs> Just ran up. They have video of you. Oh, yeah. Because Sam's friend Brandy was with her. They have video of her literally hitting the button, mm-hmm. and then you checking your phone, taking the hat off, wiping sweat off. It was hot. <laughs> responding and putting the hat back I was sweating. Oh. I was sweating. Sam just running it up on his entire thing. Hey, for the kids, Sam. Good yeah, work. Kids. Good That's work, right, Sam. Kids. There was another item purchased by our office last night. And uh, I'll tell you, as soon as ZD Baby caught his eyes on this thing, what is that, Z? What did you end up buying, and who did you end up buying it alongside? Me and Talk would have these on a Dale Earnhardt Jr. fucking... Oh, oh, I'm, excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. Juiced up. Juiced up. <laughs> I get back from doing the auctioneer thing. Yeah. I get back from doing the auctioneer thing. Connor's got, yeah, Connor's got that helmet on his head, I, I put it strapped, completely strapped. Mm-hmm. And Talk has this racing helmet halfway down his <laughs> face, just like this. And I'm like, you guys have a good time? They're like, this is the best. Yeah. <laughs> this is the greatest thing of all time. Peyton puts on a hell of an event, but yeah. the next one's going to be the best, just like our next hour when we're back on the other side in three. See you then. <laughs> Too. We have another minute. <laughs> we have another minute. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, this is a. We good- have 44 more seconds. <laughs> yep. Which mm-hmm. is a perfect time, though. The thing about this Feel Good Friday uh-huh. is that sometimes you have to remind yourself that a break is good. Yeah. Yeah. You know, whenever you do not expect it. Right. Because the weekend is right around the corner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you throw to a commercial break just to remind yourself, hey, take it easy on yourself. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Remind yourself that this weekend is going to be the greatest of all time. With that being said, hour two is on the other side yeah. of this three-minute break. And when we get back, it's going to be the best one of all time. Yeah, you were a little distraught this morning. We all thought Lincoln Riley died. So who would have thought, you know, going into the second hour? We'll see you in three minutes. <laughs> have a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, Ian Rappaport. Yeah. What's up? New haircut. New haircut. New haircut. Yeah, I had to squeeze. I was... Squeezing it in today while doing a little Russell Wilson airport reporting. So it was oh, yeah. it was a little hectic, but I got it done. Got Can you put them on this screen here? Can you put them on this screen here? Haircuts suck. Just so I know. <laughs> what, uh, what, what is... Uh, what's what's different? different? Is that this, right? this part? Or is it that this part's here? Or maybe... No, it, what happens is up here gets a little unruly. So they got to do the thing where they kind of like trim it a little bit. That's the best part. Thin it. I believe they, they, they thin it. They, yeah. Uh, thin yeah. It. They yeah. Shears. The little shears. So did he just get a haircut or a new haircut? Yeah. Why did you text me and say I got a new haircut? Because you look the exact same. It's completely different. It's not. It's completely you get a side different. By it's like side. not even remotely it's the same, same haircut as the you always have, Raps. Yeah, you look the exact same, Raps. You actually look it's different. You look, I guess. What? Yeah, you look more like you than you've ever looked in the yep. in the past. Well said. This has got to be a bit. Right? So you should do all Same interviews like Mark. this. You should, no, no, I'm you serious. Should talk to all it's interviews like different. that. <laughs> that is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So rap report. <laughs> Welcome to my office. First yes. things first. You're doing airport reporting on Russell Wilson. He was in Newark. Yep. Right. Now he's flying to Pittsburgh. Right. Does yep. he have friends and family in Pittsburgh, or is this Pittsburgh Steelers thing real with Russell Wilson? We were talking to Michael Lombardi earlier today, and he said that's a perfect situation. I see you breathing. I see you grimacing. I see you doing it all. Do you see it the same way, Ian Rappaport? I kind of do. Oh, wow. hey! I think it makes sense. Yeah. You know, I mean, look what don't leave him what hanging. they're don't looking. Don't leave him for. hanging. Ian. Don't oh, wait. We're, we're, yes. Nice. Yes. yes. That was sweet. That's tough, actually. Sometimes you go like this, and it's just, yeah, it's. Anyway. But your face, yeah, you've face. never done this. We know that because, you know. <laughs> no, I'm a big fist bump guy. Oh, okay. So, like, for a team. Yeah. Like, no, you did like a punch. Man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I used to be a big bro hug guy, and then COVID happened, and then that was not cool anymore. And I've since kind of got out of the bro hug game, but big fist bumper. So now oh. you're Howie Mandel doing this. Yep. Doing this one. Wow. Here. I wouldn't. Is that. No, it's more like not not like this. I'm not a weirdo. Like you do you don't you never done that? No. <laughs> Call it Howie a weirdo. <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, it's listen. Re- I mean, yeah, you know, ain't, whatever you want to do, new haircut. From a golf yeah. trip, Dan Orlovsky said that Jaden Daniels is his number one out of LSU over Caleb Williams. Now the conversation <laughs> 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 What's so funny? That Rap facial face. reaction, yeah. That was good. <laughs> I thought he got a text message. You you saw it the same way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's right. just say I don't think Rap agrees with that one. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Sure felt like that <laughs> yeah. with uh, uh-huh. yeah. I mean the movement too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the scrunch. Yeah. The scrunch. I'm sure Arlovsky is a better golfer than me, so I can't even laugh much. Well, it's because of the haircut too, potentially why it looks yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're t- I need to be higher. Why am I so low? Yeah, well, cut. We're not even getting into it. It's your haircut. It's your haircut. Talk to God. Uh, Ian Rappaport's on with us right now. You know, he has a different set of connections. Mm -hmm. And the way he was talking about Drake May is like how everybody's just still keeping him in the top three, you know, and didn't feel like that was a conversation necessarily everywhere, especially on, as Ian Rappaport calls it, fake draft boards. Mm -hmm. That's what Ian Rappaport don't make it seem like I called his draft no, board. No, he, I, he doesn't have a draft board, Ian. Pipe Jesus, down. He can't, he can't hear you. Relax. He, can't and he also can't board. hear you, Ian. He's on my phone. You know, he can't do the entire thing. Damn shit. Drake May, have you done the foot? What, what are your thoughts on Drake May? He's top three guy. He's top three quarterback in this draft class. Or what are your thoughts on Drake May? Yeah, I think Drake May has to get the Jordan Love treatment. Like, you have to sit Drake May for at least a year or two. I, you know, like, I remember calling one of his first college football games, dude, and being like, oh, my gosh, this guy's wildly talented. And Mac Brown, you know, having a conversation with me, he was like, Dan, this kid is everything that you want. He just mechanically is just so raw and that's always like a good thing because you can mold them and um i don't think he mechanically specifically with his feet like has gotten a lot better he hasn't um Hmm. you know in college it's always like do you have to all that stuff so 
I think if like you sit him for at least a year and you develop him, I can see that Boston kind of right back at himself. Um, I, I think if you can sit him for at least a year, you got a chance to have a really, really good player. But you can't play him early. For, yeah, absolutely. The, for those that couldn't see the small screen there in the back, Connor was flipping Dan Orlovsky yeah. off. <laughs> Oh, that's all Dan O can see, you know, on his particular side of this entire thing. All right, so you're thinking noted. I know. Hey, good job on I that, that fundraiser noted. last night, man. That's awesome. Hey, it was cool out there, dude. And great job by your wife. Great job by Sam. Running <laughs> up, yeah, legit. If I could pick one person to run it up on, it was that. <laughs> oh. That. Oh, he wants you, to. Yep, that guy. Say it, Go on, Dan. So bad. He wants it. So bad. Go on, son. Hey, good job, good job helping out people who who can who can use it to kids and whatnot. Good job by you, man. Yeah, you wow. would, you would never, Dan. You would fucking never. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, Dan. Oh, we appreciate so you, buddy. Yeah, he so is. Bad. <laughs> yeah. He hates you so bad. I know it's sick. <laughs> I, I it. know it's sick. <laughs> You're out on that cruise again, only for a few days. You're telling me there's no uh, there's no cucking going on on that cruise? Don't lie. Well, can you describe exactly what you mean. You well, know what it means. I went on a cruise one time. One mm -hmm. time. And I was asked if I wanted to, you know, potentially go back to the room of a couple. And I declined. And then I was accosted by friends of mine for declining that, saying that I ruined the entire yeah. mood of the story. But Good I, friends. I have other friends that have gone on a cruise maybe one time, first time, right now currently, in first night, they were asked. Yep. To, so in my eyes, from the people I talk to, there's a chance that that's what some of these cruises are. That's not the Ohio State Buckeye cruise, is what you're saying. That does not. I have not seen that in the the many many times I've been on the Ohio That's State Buckeye okay. cruise. That's but right. you're talking about like you sounds like you're on a swinger cruise. I don't think cucking would mean the guy sat sat in the corner and you know set up the tripod and filmed you. Mm -hmm. I think this guy wanted to jump in with you and have a, a no, no. situation. No, no, I don't. I yeah. didn't get to the full details to be honest with you. Filming isn't involved. Not that I would know. Crying's not always involved either. What's going on? You don't always crying? have to film. You don't always have to cry in the corner. Oh. To what AJ was describing. Yeah. If someone's crying in the corner, though, that means they don't want to be the cuck. Or they're so happy. Or they yeah, or they enjoy it like that. I get Yeah, they're just hard as a rock, just bawling their eyes out. That'd be a lot of emotion. That'd be tough to process. <laughs> I'd assume day-to-day -day life for that particular person is tough. Mm -hmm. I assume there's a lot yeah. going on every I single assume. day, every single moment, <laughs> yeah. if that's taking place. A lot of wars. I, if you're crying, no man. judgment. Yeah. If that's your thing, no judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, get through it. However you need to get through your yeah. day. Good Sounds luck. like you've got a lot going on. Do it. Whatever it takes. Different body parts are in different stages of grief. Yep. Uh -huh. I mean, you got to do what oh. you got to do, buddy. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Oh no. But how are you? How are you hard when you're so upset? I don't what's going know. Going on in your brain, and then what's going on in the lower half? Are Two different connected? brains crying everywhere. Yeah, always has been. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> AJ, you giving stuff away or is Rapport? Let's call Rapport back. Okay. Rap sheet for sure with a new haircut. Are you kidding me? Has I, he broke that news? No, yet? He has I mean, not. no. After that news thing, I don't know if I ever want to see that. Fucking guy! Did he get one hair cut? Anything? One hair even cut off his head or the side? Yeah, he looks the like the exact same. Yeah, uh -huh. the front maybe a little bit lower. He was flabbergasted though. Like he thinks it's a drastic change. Yeah. He had no idea there was time zones. True. Oh. Well, <laughs> was he serious there? Is Europe on Eastern time zone? I enjoy him quite a bit. You know okay, every mirror he's walking by. Hi, too. Dan. You look the exact same as you used to. You're back, ladies and gentlemen. Your rap report. Hey. Rap sheet. It's obviously different. Hold on, hold on. See. <laughs> Yeah, this haircut actually does kind of suck. Is he serious? I like the it other one. It looks really different. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> well, are you making up. fun? Like, yeah. What's the Here we go. Really Look, check it out. It. Oh, What's my. Yeah, you look a little older, I guess, with the new one. Hey, thanks for uh, making some flattering pictures. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. You look good. You look good. You look the exact same. You do. But you look no, good. No, it's... It's a bit more gel. Hey, Rap, if I make this shot, how, how many people are you giving $500 to? 20 people? Right-handed or left-handed? Jesus. Cheapskate, what Sh do you think? Show him the shot, please. It's a long Let me shot. See. It's, I'm here. Tough shot. See me? I look your size. Oh, at least 10. <laughs> at least 10. At least 10. All right. I we'll, see you. We'll I go. See you, we'll go uh, you see me down here? Yeah, way down there. You see me down here? <laughs> He's not hey. even going to hit the rim. Okay. There he is. So 20 people, $500 from you, Rapport? That seems like a lot of money. Just say yes. You got it. Yes. Yeah, at a boy. At a boy. Nice. No chance. He's gonna drain this. It's going in. Zero oh, chance. Shit. 
No, it's too it's strong. A, it's a three shot situation. Yeah. Five. What? Boom. Five. Oh, told five. me that. Here we go. No, it's Here volume. It's volume. Yeah. <laughs> We're still going. There we go. Yes. Yeah. There it is. Oh, no. This one's in. Come on. This one's in. Oh! Bang! Oh! Mm. Bonus ball. That one's coming robbed. back. That one's coming back. You got robbed. Here it is. Yeah, there it is. Yep, yep. Lava, lava. Nice. Good work. Good work. Nice. Rappaport! Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> 20 people, $500 from our friend Ian Rappaport. Thank you, Ian. You're man, Ian. Baby. We'll let you know who you need to pay. Thank you, Ian. Thanks, Have a great Rap. weekend, man. Thank Ladies you, and gentlemen, Rap Bye, guys. Rap Sheet. NFL Network. Rap Network. Girls basketball's quarter. Correct. Yes. Boys yeah, basketball. What is with that? Why do we do that? Why are the boys playing two hats? They always have. And must time. I know. Exactly. That's not an answer. It, it was an answer. I don't know if it was the right answer. For well, that's you, like a, that's like a, what a bad coach tells you. Hey, coach, why we do it this way? Because that's how we've always done it. Well, it's less time too. I'd have to talk 12? to Doctor Naismith. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, though. <laughs> I'm mad at you. He's kind old, of mad that you used that as an answer, about. though, because like <laughs> that answer has invoked a lot of oh, it's a lazy answer. Just a lazy answer. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Why we do it? That always been this way. <laughs> yeah. So we just. We're going to continue to do it this Go way. On. That's how it works. I'm not getting into it. Well, it is good. the only basketball, whether amateur or professional, that's going by halves. Sure. It's stupid. It's but weird. It's yeah, weird. it is dumb, it's actually. Now stupid. we're thinking but talking like, about it. Not as dumb as soccer. <laughs> Their clock. Amen, brother. I don't want to even bring it up. I don't even know <laughs> yeah, how to do this. Don't I don't, the ladies of the U.S. women's national team took home the Concafa Cup last night. Wow. Yeah. Gumpy, I don't know what it was, but we won and we beat Brazil. It's and actually the uh, this is the first ever women's gold cup. Okay, yeah. and the gold cup oh. matters. It the does. gold cup's a big one because gold. the gold cup is not only significant of the color of the champion, but oh, <laughs> buries it home. Okay, she's the next one, number yeah. ten. She is the next one. This is. Uh, She's taller than everybody. She's seemingly faster than everybody. She's physical. Saw her in the last World Cup whenever we didn't perform as well she was playing. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking to myself, okay, so this is the this is the next one. She's a beast. And last night, she put Brazil to bed. Now, whole second half, no goals were scored. This is obviously the extra time of the first half. Yeah. One nothing, win the first ever Gold Cup. Gumps, what's this mean? We are, we're the greatest in the world. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, first Boom. ever. And the uh, Brazil team beat Mexico three nothing. So Mexico beat the U.S. This is a huge win for the U.S. Okay, so what? You didn't need to say the Mexico. Is, is no, I'm just game saying, game like, situation? like why we're celebrating? Yeah, right the, now. Team, the team, the team bounced that? back. They responded well in the tournament after a loss. It's Canadian. a win. He's, he's Canadian. He doesn't get the pride that we have he didn't winning. Even know it's the woman's yeah. gold cup. Right. Yeah, last, we knew Concave was last, last week. Yeah. Gumpy told us we had no chance against Brazil. Yeah, is slang. Slang. I'm about I'm about done with people <laughs> slandering what I'm saying about <laughs> soccer. All right? What are you saying about soccer? I'm saying they lost to Mexico and they responded well and beat Brazil, who is probably better than Mexico in the women's game. Okay, so they bounced back and played a much better game than they had played in the brightest uh, lights in the biggest moment. Yeah, yep. first Gold Cup champion. Uh, we, 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 but all we're up. saying is there's no reason to bring up a loss after yeah. we just won the concave for Gold Cup. Not I son of a bitch. Just giving a little context. We uh, don't yeah. need the context. I gassed I'm you guys up. The context need we need is us hoisting <laughs> I gassed you up in we the first it. women's gold cup of all time. All right. Is that good or bad that it's the first? It's is this huge. better than the She uh, Believes? No. Did we create this tournament? Don't we didn't create the tournament, did we? To like get the U.S. Win? to get a win? No, the we didn't. No, the Wait, Brazil! The concave that created the gold cup, Oh, that clears it up. That clears it up. You heard Brazil before? Let's see, here we go. AJ never listens. Just, yeah, just keep going, AJ. Right. It's the Concafa's tournament. It's Concafa I'm Gold so, I'm Cup. I'm very happy we won the gold. I am. Gump, for real. The gold cup. Mm -hmm. First one ever. We're going for gold. Shout never, out to the U.S. Women's National Team, by the way. Yeah. Saying, you know what? I can get this dummy to, to respond to this. <laughs> <laughs> no problem at all. <laughs> Shout out to you guys. Hey, big win. We're back. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Lindsey Horan. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Shit. Hold on, AJ. Oh, no. You might oh, need to no. get to a microphone, AJ. After reaching agreement today with free agent running back Josh Jacobs, the Packers informed running back Aaron Jones that he's being released for a source. Yeah. Jones now will be a free agent. Aaron Jones is on the on the market, and uh, I would just like to say, come to the Colts, Aaron. Come to the Colts, Aaron Jones. I assume if the Dallas Cowboys are in on Derrick Henry, oh, they, they will also be in on Aaron Jones, who has scored five touchdowns against them in that stadium oh, before. Yeah. Mm. And from Texas, he's going to have a market. 
But Josh Jacobs now running back one going forward for this Green Bay Packers team. Aaron Jones and Green Bay Packers business-wise feels like for a couple weeks or a couple years it's been the chitter chatter a little bit, Ty. Uh, yeah, I mean he he has done the Packers a solid time. I mean I don't know what the fuck what this guy is doing, doing? <laughs> stomping on the tracks over here. Jesus how, Christ! How, how is that the? What is wrong with you? You all right? I'm not gonna stand out there. Fucking big dumb be, animal. I said at the very beginning you might want to get to a microphone. Yeah. yeah. For this one, I actually. Oh, yeah. Said. Now I'm not getting back up. Step over. Now you're not getting back. back. No. <laughs> you don't want to win anything for anybody? I'm not jumping back and forth and doing this thing. We're, we're talking about that. breaking about. news. He was breaking news. I'll throw a football from here. You, do it it Chuck every, you did it to Chuck every week. What do you mean? <laughs> you made Chuck do his song and dance oh, every Chuck week. Chuck loved it. Chuck's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we know Chuck's a showman. <laughs> okay, so Aaron Jones with the Packers. This seems like a couple years in the making almost. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's, done, he's done them a solid time and time again with kind of uh, taking less money uh you know, like Walt Rogers was there. But you just won something that has been happening on this particular program since we started on ESPN. You're at 12 F-bombs. That's the most in the history Fuck of yeah. ESPN. And there's 13. 13. Yeah. Yeah. And there's 13. Yeah. Just keep winning, champ. All I do is win. I'm over it. It's fucking, the finish is what I like. <laughs> Very fucking impressive chin on him. He's not like a fucking superstar, but he has people want to see me lose because I'm the fucking man. Yeah. So I get it. You know, I'll watch him in slow motion sometimes because it's so fucking fast. I don't even know what I do. I have to slow it down. It's fucking fun. It's fucking horrible. Okay. It, dude, that's where a lot of fighters get fucked up. And they don't they don't rehydrate, they don't refuel right. They fucking eat too much, they eat what they're not supposed to be eating, and you have a long time to fuck that up because you weigh in and then you fight way later. So you have a long time to keep fucking that up. You have bubbly guts, your fucking fart sticks, you have diarrhea, there's so much that can go wrong. And I've just got it down to dialed in to where I was feeling fucking good. Thank you. Yeah. Good work. We go to the toxic table. Boy, we are one man down and that's Aston at Boston Connor, who has a sweet shirt on today. I'm just a German Shepherd. Thank you. Yeah, German Shepherd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dog. Mm -hmm. what? Everyone's looking for him today, Pat. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> what, what What are you looking for right now? You think? Well, right now, I uh, it just it never feels right sitting here. You know, it just, it, I, I'm not looking at the TV, but I know exactly how it looks, and it's not right. Uh, and I'm worried. Can you read the point. text, please, that you got from your toxic <laughs> table will. compadre? Uh, just. 30 seconds before we went live from uh, at Ty Schmidt. Yeah, he, uh, 12, 15, 9, 30. Yeah. Um, will you tell Pat mid-diarrhea, comma, be out quickly, comma, just started coming out. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not sure if he was peeing. Way to go. Hey, we had, he had three minutes. Yeah, and yeah. I think he even knew that was going to be a little bit of a tight time crunch for mm -hmm. what he was battling and going on. This is not the first time, obviously, <laughs> Ty's missed some air time because he had to dump and yeah. almost pooped his pants. And uh, Worried. All of our positive T's and P's are tied right now as he's doing battle once again with one of those toilets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's, it's fun, you know, every now and then. But back-to-back -back weeks, I am now officially in the – uh, concerned boat as far as uh, where everybody stands. Yeah, I got a couple of tweets uh, from pe tweets on X from people the last time this happened about how there are ways to fix this. Yeah. And we're not good friends and everything. We just want to let you know we've tried. You try. Mm -hmm. You go talk to Ty. Yeah, he, he, he's a stubborn son of a bitch he, and he knows that. You tell Ty. You tell Ty what he needs to do. We've told him, hey, Arby's, 8.30 a.m. <laughs> Not good. No, I don't think that helps. <laughs> Not good. How about Tone Diggs today trying to bait Ty Schmidt into doing something terrible? What do you mean? God. This guy had a full ice cream sundae. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there he is. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. It's a good bop, too. He does go. have a nice little bop. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's it's a, a feel, bop. looks good. Bop. Yeah, feel a little lighter. Good gait. Hey, just threw up a little bit, too. I don't <laughs> know if it was something I... Oh something God. I ate? Yeah. Should we be worried? Got a bad batch Are you okay, really? buddy? Is, is this uh, You're puking and dumping? Is there blood? Arby's had what? breakfast? There's no blood, right? No, he... he no, that, that would be... That's the problem. That would not be good. He knows the manager. He's able to fire up some of the roast beef before the store's even open. Yeah. Ty. <laughs> he's got the gold card. Nice. Is everything all right, Bob? I don't know. I mean, I was good pretty much all weekend. You know, I just had a run-of-the-mill sub. You know, just turkey. Turkey and white bread and cheese. Because oh. I, I said, hey, need something very kind of plain for the palate. Don't want to... Don't want to ruffle any feathers. Um, I don't know if that thing was sitting out overnight where I got it from or what, but I yeah, as I was, you know, kind of expelling out one end, I kind of just and 
puked a little bit. Do we have so. a nice setup there for you? We hope you're okay. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good now. I mean, we should. Should we, doctor? This is this is not right. Yeah. Oh no, this I got. I'm, right. We got to be good friends. You're right not. Now. Yeah. What? You got to figure not, this out. It shouldn't happen. I'm on par to have a, another colonoscopy here pretty soon right. because right. last good. time I went, good. they kind of said like, yeah, it's red. There's some irritation, but you know and. This is the first time I've gone to the guy. I, I'm almost thinking I need to go back home to go to like the the guy who diagnosed me from the beginning because the last guy seemed like a bit of a quack and kind of he just wanted me to kind of get in, get out. Yeah, he'd be all right. Don't worry about it. Well, which is normally good for some things, but not like actual things. Yeah, because I when I know, I know. Like I know I have a serious issue with my stomach. I always have. Let's so make sure we take care of this though. I, mm-hmm. I'm 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 on it. I'm on it. All right. Hey. We got you. Come on. Hell yeah. Thank you. We're going to take care of this thing. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We are. To a better future. Mm-hmm. Team on three, one, two, three. Hey, team. team. All right, let's move along. Ty, we're pulling for you. Mm-hmm. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, last time now, big move. New quarterback potentially in town, Steel City. Oh, well, yeah. let's feel the beat. Bang, 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 bang,
I don't know if tomato sitting out for 12 hours is necessarily he turned into ketchup. After being chopped Smart. up, it's the right place. He, I don't know if it was the nature's microwave your leg or if it was just tomatoes composition, how they're created to to survive that thing. Right. I'm a lettuce. Combo. Onion mayo guy anyway, so I wouldn't have had that issue. Maybe I need to do the cargo shorts there. But can we talk about your kitchen, honestly? Is this brand new? Are those Billy Bonyours? You, you uh, know what? I moved. I just moved here about what, three months ago. Congrats. Oh, Moving nice. on up. Yeah. Moving on up, Kaboli. Keep covering the Steelers. So, Things are good. That's a good-looking fucking kitchen there, Kaboli. So let, let's just hope the athletic doesn't uh, decide that uh, they don't want me anymore. If not, I'm going to have to uh, hit you up for a job. I don't know if we can afford that kitchen for you. No way. I don't know if we can afford that. That's, that's a good-looking kitchen there. You got some good cabinetry there. Good cabinetry. Hey, when you, like, I, like, I picked out any of this. Come Coffee on. maker. Nice maker. French doors on the yeah. refrigerator. Yeah. Natural light. Is Elevated Big jar of mayo back there. Is that mayo almost yeah, it, it actually is mayo. I was just eating and making myself a sandwich. <laughs> you know what, though? I'm so cheap. It's the Aldi version of no, oh, no, no bar, bar, yes. hell yeah, bar. You got a new house to build. You got a new house to pay for, and a hey, snowblower. So the Hellman's, the Hellman's was like two dollars and seventy cents more than Berman's. Yuck, so, geez, man. yuck. Hey, going Berman. Hey, real quick, what's on the sandwich over there? We got turkey, a little bit of ham. We got white bread. Are we cutting it uh, catty corner? Are we cutting it down the middle? Or, or, what else? Just, are you toasting a bread? Ham, ham and Swiss. Mm -hmm. Oh, just you know. Good. Very, very simple. Throw it in the microwave. Michael pack Hammond. it clean and uh, got a call from you guys. Wait, so are you toasting a bread or are you just you throwing? I didn't even toast. I'm, I'm a microwave. I'm a simple man. Yeah, that's going to soggy know. up the bread, isn't How's it? And that? that's soggy in the no, bread. Put, I'm not into taste as much as just you know getting the job done. Sustenance. Sure. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Filling up. Yep. Do you, do you yeah, eat to live or live to eat? <laughs> Hey, Mark, thanks for getting a job done for us Thank every you, time Mark. we fucking call. Mm -hmm. Go. We do appreciate that. Enjoy that sandwich, pal. It's cooling off. It's cooling yeah, off. Yeah. Put that thing back in the microwave. <laughs> Dude, you could, I mean, just pretty simple. To put, toast him. Toast your move. Just yeah, toast the bread. Air that fryer. would require me to take the toaster out of the sure. cabinet. And I'm <laughs> probably not 100% sure where that toaster is. <laughs> well, you just you just, move, you just moved in. Don't don't be too hard on yourself. You have no fucking idea where anything is in there. Okay, it happened to me. I was living in a house for a year. Hey, some people uh, buy houses and other people buy sleeve tattoos. I went with the house. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Why? Mark Bowley. Hey, Bowley. Love that Schneidman. He hates Schneidman. Schneidman just got fucking killed. He, he hates him. Because I've been reading a lot about us. We're ruining sports media. That's right. So no. we don't need to ruin you, but we appreciate the hell out of you. Great sleeve tattoo. Great little rivalry with Mark Bowley. I, yeah, I love, love it. it. Nice. You know, you watch it. He'll fucking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where is he from? New York City, huh? Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm worried. Want we'll to survive a day in Pittsburgh? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Schneidman. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> Let's get to a break. They ever, they ever shared a hotel room together? That helped not. No one. That would be awesome. <laughs> so, one yes, they definitely one, are. One bed, Schneidman on the bottom of it, like sleeping like this. <laughs> Michael sideways. Scott. <laughs> yeah, sideways. Like uh, Tommy Boy. <laughs> yeah, bingo. Let's get to a break. Where am I Man, this show sucks, dude. Gruden, I believe, is advising in uh, the semen in Milan. Uh -huh. yeah. yep. I think is the team they. He's uh, the semen of Milan are being advised yeah, by uh, John Gruden. Mm -hmm. That is news that broke last night. Grazie, prego, they're Forza saying. Milano. Uh, the bot, the I mean, bot, stay I off the email. Uh, you know, we don't do email over here. You know, that whole thing. But I, Gruden, knows, Gruden knows ball. That'll never. <laughs> and the semen, they love ball. They know ball, too. They know oh, ball. Yeah. The semen yeah. know ball yeah, better than anything just in about history. everybody. They yeah. were birthed. <laughs> In the ball. Yeah. The semen. And yep. now, you know. Yeah. Uh, Five time champs. Five time Italian bull champs. Well, that's what they do. The semen find a way to win. Italian bull, too, filled with meatballs and spaghetti when you get it. Just oh. like the orange bowl. They don't have meatballs over there. Yeah, don't they don't asshole. have meatballs over oh, there. Italy, meatballs okay. are an American thing. They don't have meatballs oh. over there. Yeah. Yeah. That, that makes sense. That makes sense for sure. It makes, makes sense. Feel Parmesan. Jeez. Sure, there's no meatballs. You're in acting Italy. like a real asshole right now. I'm just, I'm Uncultured just saying. Uncultured swine. The, the idea that there are zero meatballs Stick in Stick to your potatoes, okay? I will. Them. I mean, I just, 
A lot of potatoes in Ireland. They don't. And, and you're not gonna, it's like lasagna. You can only get lasagna like on holidays over there. What? You know, it's like the, there. You're that's right. You can only get it. It's a cake. Like, it's a cake. It's an actual pasta cake. And look, I was. In, I, I went to see Springsteen in Florence, and I stopped at. I went to this restaurant twice, and I said, "Do you make lasagna?" And the lady said, "If you come back on Saturday, I'll make it for you, but I only make it at Christmas." So I came back on Saturday. She made it for me. It was tremendous. Oh, the lady died because she don't wasn't make able it all to. The time. She, you, you ruined her schedule. She yep. took her ten hours to make that yeah. lasagna. <laughs> They got gabagool. Had to shut. They definitely got gabagool. Oh, they got all that. Yeah, they got all that. Double yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, we, uh, yeah. Hey, you know this guy. You no know, meatballs, no lasagna. I got all a lot of fish and pasta. What have you been lied to about? And all the foods, food propaganda. I thought it was everywhere. Thank you. Meatballs. Thank you, buddy. They don't have meatballs. They got pizza over there. No, they got breadsticks or no? I hate to break the news here. They don't have veal parm over there or chicken parm. They don't cover everything in cheese and meatballs. That's a mistake. This place now, sucks. Not having chicken parm is a massive mistake for the boot country. Come there's on. Italian American food and then there's yeah. Italian. Yeah, but how come the Italians can't be like, you know what? Yeah, the gringos did good. Yeah. Good idea. That's actually a pretty good because idea. The, the American chicken parm. Are you kidding me? I I I'd love to see fryers. Giuseppe Marcelloni yeah. over there. Uh-huh. Take his take on chicken parm. No, they got I think- pizza. Yeah, no, they, they got pizza. Okay. No, they have okay. pizza. They don't, don't, don't kid yourself. They I have mean, great pizza. Better. Pizza Hut, yeah. Good Lord. Is there Pizza Hut Not there? Pizza Hut. <laughs> Going out. Idiot. What? what? What are you talking about? Idiot. There's a Pizza I Hut? Man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right I next to Bob Bing, yeah, so the Pizza weird. Hut pizza is always good. What? what are we even talking about? There should about? be one in the Coliseum. Are hey. you kidding me? <laughs> Look at what they have done in the United States of America to our beautiful thing, pizza. Yeah. They have created a hut, 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 hut that has the greatest pizza every day, all day, all the time. That's right. How's the quality? No, Great. Top notch. Oh, my God. Sorry, Long. They're missing out. They don't have breadsticks and wings, though, do they? No, I don't Ooh. think they got the wing house. No. Uh-uh. Wing Street? No, they that definitely is. don't. <laughs> don't the wing Street. Anyways. Don't try and get a pepperoni pizza, either. What? What? <laughs> Beloved Stop Italian it. American foods not found in Italy. Baked ziti. Yeah, it's got baked no ziti. ziti. Come on. No oh, ziti. Oh, ziti. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Back there Caesar salad? I thought there. I was Thank eating you. Italy when I was eating Caesar what? salad. They don't have garlic bread? Are you Ray's shitting me? Right. I'm never going now. What are you talking about? I need to go. Go see there, yeah, no chance. Chance. It's, it's amazing. This is unbelievable. Go open a pepperoni you pizza went, shop. You would, not, you would not miss an inch of it. It's so good. Here's another thing. Like in Ireland, I went to Ireland. And they eat all fried food every day, all day. Dogs. They don't have ranch dressing. Really? If you were to take <laughs> ranch dressing to Ireland, <laughs> it's like, I think you'd become a billionaire. King of the castle. <laughs> you, that's all I thought for like four straight days. I'm like, oh, is there any ranch here? We, we don't have it. What's Whatever that? their accent. You'll yeah. No wonder they hated you. <laughs> <laughs> They hated me over there. They did. The Every restaurant. <laughs> you guys got raised yeah. No, we don't. I, they need it over there. You need pepperoni pizza in Italy. Yep. Hey, here's a business plan. Mm-hmm. Boys, going to have to go live in the boot for a little bit. Pepperoni pizza, spaghetti with meatballs. Yeah, bingo. Wait until, you hear, <laughs> wait until you hear this protein we're putting alongside the carbs on top of it. You guys are going to love it. And then in Ireland, we're opening a ranch warehouse. Uh, Tyrod Taylor, too, right? Yeah. Tyrod Taylor. Backup quarterback. Well, you might Could be started if there's a Seattle Oval office, Ooh. which is a strip club in <laughs> yep. Green Bay. I was actually Correct. thinking of the timeline, though, because the election's not till November, and then the inauguration's not till the new year, right? Or after the January. It'll be playoffs. So he should be good, right? There's the Oval Office in Green Bay. That, Is that uh, in D.C.? Or? No, that's not the actual. That's not the one. Really? That's not the one sure? you hear about. I don't know. The the White House. Is that the White House? The yeah. replica? <laughs> Uh, no, I think that is the adult ballet. Is it two stories, AJ? You've been in there. What, what, up top well, is the boom, boom room. Look up, look up. Uh, I honestly have not been inside. This. Oh, I uh, okay. So this the upstairs. What, what happens to the upstairs? Second, second floor getting I shoulder think that's, ropes. Uh, I think that is there like faux windows. I don't know if there is like an upstairs. You know, oh, you it's know, just high. Toys. So we got we got from high. the sky. Look up in the sky, spicy cinnamon. Yeah. 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 And then she catches herself <laughs> with the thighs. That's going on Oval Office. I think so. It might be. You know, yeah. you know, it's nice. Did you see the grass and the shrubbery and the landscaping around the Oval Where? Office? It's, I did. I looked at the very, sidewalk. I was going to say the concrete on the sidewalk. It's was very, artsy. beautiful. Very well managed. Much I, nice. You should definitely go there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's we actually should. an exact replica of the original White House before the uh, Brits burned it down in the War of Son 1812. Of no, I actually think no. that that exact replica is actually down in the Florida Keys. Oh, they moved it. <laughs> Picked it up what? with a helicopter. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that is the exact replica. Yeah, that's is the that, office. Here. Is that the... Yeah. Wait, what? 
Yeah, that's where the president we sits. Talking? That's where the president sits in the back there. You're mm-hmm. right, Nick. I was wrong there. This is the exact replica of the yeah. Oval Office. Is that Lincoln on the wall? Yeah, I think Elvis Presley yep. met down here with the president at the bottom. Yep. They talked mm-hmm. about peanut M and M's. You got that big table because you got a lot of a lot of shit to talk about. Oh yeah. Well, they say about two days in, the whole thing's filled with papers. Yep. The yeah. amount of shit you got to do. That's why you age like a what president. What the hell is that? What is that? That's, that's the, the Oval Office. office. The Oval Office. That's what are the, the little like sits. cocktail tables in between those the you know the stuff on the outside? What is that? Your well, they get, they get, they're computers, mm-hmm. laptops. So the cabinet sits around the big Working table, space. and then all the assistants and stuff like that sit at the cocktail table. A lot of delegates. Yeah, Biden almost died in there. Yeah. Actually, well, he was at the kids' table, Whoa. and he he has. Slicky back will turned. love yeah. this room. Who? Slicky will. No, he Bill Slicky owns. Will. This was the. This is what he designed. Yep. Mm-hmm. Anyways, it's Slick. an honor to look inside a, a place that has obviously affected so many things. Yeah, what's a bummer is that you can't see the top because I believe Lewinsky's jersey is <laughs> hanging up in the rafters. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Performance in there that people say Heard still talk about. Heard Heard row. Shout out to the Oval Office getting things done in there. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> off. Shout out. I would, that happened. I, I would assume that even the most frequent visitors of that particular Oval Office had no idea that that's what it looked like. No. <laughs> no. no. Who would have? Wait, hold on. During the day. Oh, that's how? There's a lot of lights on. And I'm in there. Is that, a, is, that a, is that a portrait of Lincoln on the... What the hell is the, that doing? The, the walls are white? I have never seen that. I've been there for the last 22 weeks. <laughs> I was there last night. <laughs> What's that? Same place. Same thing, but at night. Now we're talking. Oh, so, is that yeah. George W? Is that, George? <laughs> that is W. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, geez, Louise. Yeah, second second floor getting shoulder rubs. When did he tell you he was going to be vice president mm-hmm. of the United States of America? And what were your follow-ups to that entire situation whenever you found out? Which we assume months ago, AJ knew about Of course. This. No, I, I had no idea. And if he did actually tell me that he was going to, you know, thinking about making a run for the VP, I probably would not even have any follow-up. So I'd say, okay, yep, sounds about right for, you know, what you've been doing. <laughs> what you've been doing. It's not like a, it's not a, it's not a, a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, what, nothing would surprise me right now. Yeah, I think, I think we all kind of feel the same way. I like that coming from mm-hmm. the Detroit Football Lions, Foxy. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Is MCDC a good challenger? I don't think I recall. I think if you ask the fan base, he's actually not a good challenger. He well, that's because he never gets chan- a third one. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's why they want the third one, so I see why they're doing it. In your scenario. I go 50% every game, and I, yeah. you know, so now I'm a bad guy. People hate okay. me. I'm bad. There's 10 other calls I'd like to challenge, but I can't, so. Yeah. Yep. In yeah. your scenario, there should also be the a different color for the first flag as the second flag so you know that this is your last flag okay and oh if like you a get yellow this, red card type yeah and if you get yeah. this wrong you're, and you I don't mean, get it back you're out what's up yeah. here yeah, i mean it's a great idea but have you watched these coaches fumble around their Who's different parts of their body that they have the flags out. tucked into yeah, you want to give them multiple flags to try to keep a track of I, we don't care that's not on us figure it out you're yeah. a professional have a football flag guy. Of the yeah. Yeah. there's only 30 yeah, jobs hire a flag guy pay a guy 140 grand to be your flag guy oh you get back guys flag guy now we're creating jobs Look at us. There we go. Well, I just said you weren't going to talk politics, I thought. I just added. Do you have any information? On. Conversation you had like 10 years ago. Potential vice presidential runs. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know. Is, did he say anything about that in the statement that he put he out? He didn't say that he wasn't. He didn't say a single thing. You saw it. We saw it. Yeah, yeah. come on. He said nothing about the VP. Uh-oh. So it's still in play? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. You're an asshole. What are you hiding? March 26th. We gotta, that's when he said he's announcing, right? Yeah. RFK Jr. or Aaron? RFK Jr. said he, March 26th, I believe, will be the time he, he does it. Until then, every name we put out into the sphere will be treated as a politician who wants to run people's lives. So kill him. Mm-hmm. That is, is that what's happening until March 26th? Oh, man. I don't know. It, it's a weird world over there, isn't it? I'm not sure. <laughs> AJ, you're the Keep best. me out of it. Keep me out. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. kind of what we yeah. said, too. Hey, we didn't. Hey, we are not. That world, hey, we appreciate you guys signing up for that, though. Mm-hmm. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. All you smart people. Hey, also, figure it out. A lot of questions, but I like the I like the challenge flag. We do that a lot with game shows. America, we'll, like, they'll send scouts out to different parts of the world, mm-hmm. find game shows. And Mask they, it, singer. Yeah, all yeah. of them. The yeah. Beast. American that one Ninja where they, they put the shape up and you got to get into the shape of the deal in the wall. Knocks you over. Best. The greatest game show. Oh, of all time. Oh. That one? We saw oh, we saw man. one yesterday. Oh. Hole in the wall. Yeah. Yep. He's the greatest game show of all time. Jeez. I mean, the producers are they have moxie. They do. They have a lot of personality. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That lady had no chance of getting through the thin little hole that they put in that wall. She didn't. 
and they knew it whenever she was standing there. Rude. This is so rude. Here it comes. Look out for the wall. Remember, she's got to make the shape that's in the wall, and if not, she'll be knocked into the water, and she will lose. Well, it's good effort. No chance. It was oh, good effort. Oh. She almost had it. She did. They she tried it. her best. It wasn't her fault. It was the game's fault. Yeah. Man. She made those walls steal going Think forward. Think about what was that uh, No Whammies game? <laughs> oh. Big Money oh. No Whammy. Stop where the guy cheated it. I yeah, love game it? shows, dude. I, I like We're right in my oh, yeah. my bag right now. Game I, show network. Connor, I said it in. Uh, fuck okay, it. Okay, good. What was the chain? Yeah, Pressure Luck is the name of the uh, Big Money No Whammies one where the guy learned the. The sequence the, or the whatever, sequence yeah. Of it. Yeah, 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 and just oh, really? Blind eye, oh, big money! Yeah. And then he just, and then he knew all the questions too. And he, like, I think the other two people that were on the game had zero and zero. He hit every single time, mm -hmm. and they were like, had to figure out what they. Oh, this guy's obviously got us beat or whatever. I think they sued. I think there was a. We we were just talking yesterday um, that how the the Japanese have the game shows market on Locked lockdown. Down. Okay, we saw one yesterday where the whole goal of the game show is you have to deliver food. On a severely slanted floor, did all time goal. Phenomenal. Yeah, goal. So all time game show. I think they had uh, that slippery mountain game too. Yep. That oh, yeah. where people had to climb the mountain. Oh and yeah. Slick. I think they started like. <laughs> love that. One. Love that. Yeah. Dude, what's the one where um, chain? Uh, Weak, like, weakest weakest link? link? No, that's great. Yeah, you mm -hmm. all the weakest link. Yep. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. um, Tried to revive that. No, they and it, Jane did great. Jane Link. Yeah, yeah. She's a great host. Yep. Um, what's the one where there's like a word? And then that the next word connects the next word. Oh yeah, uh, chain reaction. Chain reaction, and then you can stop from the bottom, yep. bottom or the top. Mm -hmm. Love that the, game. That's the pyramid good. one. Yep, where it's like ten categories. You got a thousand, hundred thousand dollar pyramid. There. Strahan hosted that one. He yep. does a great job on that game. Uh, chase the uh, the chase. Yeah, with the beast. With the beast who's lost. Oh uh, yeah, he's not the beast anymore. He's lost like a hundred pounds, I think. If I saw him last time, big really? fucking legend. Brain. Yeah, big fucking brain on that guy. That's why Spike TV was sweet because it just had all of those into one. Anything happen in football today? How about sports as a whole? Anything? Oh yeah, the Yager bobbleheads got lost. Yeah, yeah. they did. Stolen. Well, did you hear about this, AJ? There's potentially a little yeah. bit of. Uh, did someone take them or what? There's a controversy potentially happening. So, before the Royal Rumble, there was a Slim Jim car that was going to be given away to a member of the WWE Universe, thanks to his friend L.A. Knight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and your friends at Slim Jim. As they were transferring the Slim Jim car, one of one, to Royal Rumble in Florida, the car fell off the truck. Jeez. Oh, no. okay. Like fell off the truck or it fell off the truck? Well, exactly. for those of you who grew up in an Italian neighborhood, I'm not saying it was just the Italians, but maybe any other potential neighborhood where things could fall off a truck. Televisions TV mm -hmm. could sure. fall DVD off. Player. The, yeah, yeah. A lot of things could fall off a truck. Like, well, what happened? Why well, must have just got lost in the shuffle? The Slim Jim car had that happen. Sure. So they had to build a new one, made it even bigger, badder, and better. And then I read that the Pittsburgh Penguins are having a similar issue with their Yomri Augerhead bobbleheads. Mm. The Penguins announced today that the shipment carrying the Yager bobbleheads for tonight's game has been stolen en route to Pittsburgh. As a result, the bobbleheads will not be distributed at tonight's game, but will be distributed at a later date. Yikes. Somebody stole the fucking bobbleheads of Yarmer Yager, who's been having a two-week party back in Pittsburgh yeah. for the first time in over a decade. Some assholes have these Yager bobbleheads fall off a truck. I won't stand for it. But then mm -hmm. Pittsburgh Penguins released a video. What? Yarmer Yager and his bobblehead are going to find the bobbleheads. Yeah, they're on the case. Hmm. Oh. oh. Hey. Telling me it's a work. Yeah, Yag oh, stole. Are we getting worked, brother? Hmm. Did some asshole steal these fucking oh, bobbleheads? To be continued. To be continued. What a teaser. Whoa. What a teaser. Oh, man. And he's. Whoa. I think Yager will find it. Oh, what if they make a video of Yager <laughs> stealing them, like in the middle of the night, solo mission? You think, yeah. you, oh, from back? For, yeah, from, yeah, exactly. Back from whoever stole them. I want him. Yeah, no, it, ding, 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 ding. Like yeah. a Michael Scarn yep. situation. What if Yager what if finds he has to get these guys? In the skates, too. What if yep. it's like across a pond? Yep. Yeah. Go. He's got to. He has to go across, and he's. Well, be careful. <laughs> With his stick. Takes him, takes him at gunpoint, has two pistols. He points at That's people. That's what I'm saying. Yogs might kill these guys if he finds them. Yeah.
Be careful on that pond because it's been unseasonably warm this winter. <laughs> well, he can skate on water and think about his guns. Yes, being he can. The size of the size of uh, like hockey stick guns. Like he's yeah. got two pistols, but they're the size of hockey sticks. Bingo. Yeah, and he's holding the blade. Like, Scary. yeah, he's yeah, he's bait. Literally, yep. He's literally. That's one. Of, that's one of your guns. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to stay. Yeah. Yep. X. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. yep. And it's yeah. Side stop, good nice. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Start throwing hockey pucks like throwing stars. Pull the pistol out. Yeah, I know. All right. I see it. Sunday. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? What are we talking? About? How about today being Pie Day? I think we got a couple apple pies out here. How about that? We got gimmicks. We got gimmicks. We got. It's that kind of Pie Day? It's three point one four, baby. We got, we got, we got gimmicks. We got. Nice. I think we have pies. Oh, apple pies. Delicious. There is cool. pie out there. Rudy Poo. What? <laughs> you want some pie? What day was D Budge talking about on Twitter? Happy, happy pie day. Pie day. Happy pie day. Hey, Bruce. Don't happy pie day. Way to go, Bruce. Thank you for doing that. National champion, Michigan cap. You can take that as a talk to table. Tie a tie. We both of this. Like, I'll definitely uh, take a slice of the apple. Yeah, for Why sure. you like this one? Because you're an American. He did it probably one hour. Here, here, here. What's around. the one with the Reese cups on top? That one's probably a good one. That like ain't ice cream pie. Happy Pie Day. 3.169666456787827. Oh, now we have no candles. Great. We're good. There it is. Happy Pie Day. Oh. Happy Pie Day. Happy Pie Day. Day. Nice gimmick. Yeah. Nice gimmick. Yeah, Nice gimmick. Nice, nothing better than a nice warm apple pie. Yeah, I believe this one is a French toast pie. Yeah, and this is what this is what pie day is all about. Pie day is all about a French toast pie and, <laughs> and an apple pie. And, oh, amen. We're just hey, you guys. We don't make the rules. Fuck. Go ahead. Right. No, I'm I'm sorry to cut you off. You think was there a, like a tons of people that were sticking their meats in apple pies after that movie came out when the kid did it? Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Old school. Yeah. Okay. That, was that sounded like somebody who either did it or knows somebody that did it. No, no, that was pretty quick. No, no. Well, I'll, I'll say I did know someone who did, but I mean, American Pie, really? that, that thing took over. It did. This is what I've been working on. Okay. Mm. People don't fully understand it because only a few of us could really see the vision. But this thing that definitely matters. Yep. This thing mm -hmm. pie. definitely fucking matters. We're going to talk about it a lot. Yep. Going forward is this. This, this right here. Listen, you're going to use it in your everyday life all well, the if, time. If Big. you're trying to find the diameter, yeah, you are. Bingo. Big with circles. Yeah, I understand. We got the radius, and uh, yep, we're doing yep. that against this thing, and we're certainly adding the diameter plus the circumference mm -hmm. and the fucking thing. But <laughs> the thing about it that nobody talks about is this. Yep. Because this is a good metaphor for life. Bingo. You <laughs> never know what those next three dots are going to be. Mm -hmm. This thing runs on and 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 on. And on 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 so as we have the chance to go on and 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 on. Let's make sure we're enjoying every single one. That's what these three dots mean to me. That's what Pi Day means to all of us. And let's enjoy every moment we have together. Okay? Be a friend. Tell a friend something nice. It might change their life. And just like Pi, we're in this thing together. Team on me. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Goodbye. 19 to the last 20 races is Vander stopping. Yep. That sucks. And, and yep. like, Nailed it. If, he, <laughs> if he was to. It sounds like a watch. He probably has one. Yep. Yeah, That's so a, he the F1 is a big watch community, it sounds like, from what I've been watching along. So the Vander stopping watch and the Vander stopping dominance has just become, like, just so boring to watch. He'll win the pole. And then the races are like time trials, Sammy. They're stacked right behind each other. We watch you guys. We're four wide. Yeah. yeah. We're four wide sometimes. You said I'm bumping Denny Ham. Not to spin him out. Just a little, hey, huh? Uh huh? Huh? They're not doing any of that. So, like, I think we're just like ignorant Americans because when we get on go karts, we're trying to cut off our friends every time whenever we're racing there. And that style of racing is not at all. Would you be good 
at their racing? Would you be able to do that with your driving style? Or is there levels uh, to this in different styles of driving? Yeah, I mean, the bumping and the banging, you definitely don't want to do that. Those cars are too fragile, so you're not going to do that. So let me give you an example. So our racing, NASCAR racing, to me, is like two bros or four bros or whatever, but, you know, beer cans in their hands, smashing it up, going, woo, Stunk you cold, know, yeah. partying, having a good time. We're yeah. going to rough some fenders, you know. When you go and do an F1 race, little dinty, tiny, like, champagne glasses going dink and making <laughs> sure that, uh, you know, you keep your fingers up or pinky up when you uh, when you take a, a sip, you know. Uh, uh, and uh, we're all about getting sloshed. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Like, That's yeah. what we thought. Yep. That's exactly yep. what we thought. What's that quote? If you didn't know your age, how old would you be? Is that what it was? How old would you think you would be? Wow, who's it? Somebody, it was in somebody's bathroom. I was taking oh, a leak and I saw a sign. Mm. And I thought yeah. to myself, that's a good question, huh? <laughs> if I didn't know how my old? age, what else? What, what, what was the how answer? Did you I figure do? it out? Well, I said, what else don't I know? You know yeah. Like, if I just don't know how old I am, like, what else? Your brain I? always feels like 17, 18 years old. I, I, I ask adults that all the time. I was like, how old do you feel? And like, oh, my body. I'm like, no, mentally, how old do you feel? What's your answer? 17, 18, you said? Always, yeah. Like, I feel like I'm, yeah, a 20 year old for life, probably. Grow up. I believe yeah. it's a quote Peter from uh, Satchel Page. He <laughs> there said, it is. How old would you be if you didn't know how old you are? Yeah, but probably don't Satchel know. Page probably don't know where you're from. You get that in, like, um, what's the other one that's at those toilets? Uh, don't pee on. Uh, Live, love, laugh. La that is one for get sure. Get naked. Just kidding. This is a half bath. Don't make it weird. Okay, I've seen that one. Yeah, that, that is a good one. That mm -hmm. is a really good one. Go bop in here. Yeah, no pooping in here like uh, Josh McDaniels, <sighs> his house when Jim Mercer did. Oh, that's yeah. in, that's in his bathroom now. Allegedly, Jim Mercer took a forty-five minute dump, and Josh <laughs> McDaniels' wife was alarmed. Not yeah. as alleged, but it's her fault. It was her pot roast that he was dumping out. <laughs> yeah, he was trying to be a, a kind soul. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Is anybody else going to eat this pot roast? <laughs> I heard we, we, cannot let, bath. we cannot let this lady's pot roast go unattended to and make it look like we don't like her cooking and we think she's a bad person. And then you had Chris Bowery. I'm not eating it. Yeah. I don't eat it. I'm, I'm right there. I can't eat it. Today. Well, I guess I would, Jim Ursay. Cuts half that thing. Yep, yeah, eight pounds. Puts of pot it down. Roast. She brings out a two gallon of milk jug. Oh, and she's oh. like, Who's going to drink my milk? You know, I got it from the cows in the back or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Jim's like, Is anybody going to drink? I don't want to disrespect this lady. Oh, shit. Drinks the entire milk. Yeah. Brings out Velveeta. Yep. Oh, it's the block oh. of Velveeta. It's just like, Anybody going to eat this lady's Whoa, Velveeta? Geez. I don't want to disrespect her. Yep. Eats the Velveeta. Yep. I heard, I heard and he's Jim. like, I'm getting a little tired because I've eaten so much. Can I get some coffee? She's like, I make the best coffee. He's oh, like, so they give me a full pot of that. <laughs> yep. I mean, they made a they made an Oppenheimer inside of his <laughs> gut because he was trying do? to show her respect. And I heard Jim was using non RFI approved to flush non -flush. RFA. Come on, you son of a bitch. Wipes what? approved wipes. RFA. Wipes. And he does have which the stands for Responsible Flushing Alliance. You'll learn oh, about it. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm real. sure. Yes, it is. Yeah. I'm a lifetime member of the RFA. Hey! <laughs> That's that song, I think. No, they say FFA. Mm -hmm. Did he replace the toilet paper when he ran out? He brought his own toilet paper. Yeah. 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 Wet he, wipes. In his that was actually part of the problem. He, this guy didn't use any toilet paper. Yeah. Didn't wipe his ass after that. You smell oh, it in no. there? What the hell's oh, going no. on? Gross. <laughs> Oh, what if he? What if it was the master master bathroom? She's like, well, he could have used the hall bath or go in the basement. Maybe why do you have to use ours? Is this is this your guys' bathroom? Uh, that's what I'm going to use. All right? Yeah, he's yeah. the owner. What do you mean? I'm not dumping, I'm not dumping in the hallway bathroom. Joining us now, ladies and gentlemen, as we uh, we might be yep. the greatest kill time show in yeah. history yep. mm -hmm. up there oh, man. by far. Think about the story we just told. Yep, a true story. Well, the tale of all well, embellished. There's some bones. There's some bones to that story. Yeah, he didn't based eat a block true, based of Based on true events. Yeah, Jeez. based off of true events from what we've heard from people yep. in the know at, at the, the time. time. The Toxic Table is here at Boston Connor. And Ty Schmidt and Ty, you should have seen your brethren Connor operate last night in Plumboro. It was a scene last night for Connor. I've heard a little bit about it. I mean, obviously Connor got into the office today about 10:45, 11 mm -hmm. o'clock, which is not typical for him. <laughs> no. And first thing he did when he came in, just said he was hurting. He was hurting bad. I think he had already showered, had to take another shower. Uh -huh. 
Um, had the sunglasses on, obviously. <laughs> so, yep, there they Still are. Still got them. Wish I would have seen it live in person, but um, if, if I know anything about Connor, I kind of have a perfect picture in my mind of what last night was He was, was having like. a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Connor was having a good time. When we found out National Espresso Martini Day yeah. was around mm-hmm. the corner as well, Hands are tied. those things start flowing. There about, you, go. you know, 10 p.m., you're having mm-hmm. espresso martinis. Yep. Okay, that normally means, you know, because espresso is going to yeah. give you a little bit sure, of juice. Yeah. A little bit. Dangerous. And then at like 10.30, you're having another one. And then flight's delayed. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll have another one, 11.15. Yep. Right. So when you're having four espresso martinis, the last one coming at about 12.30, 12.45, oh, mm-hmm. you've, you've signed up for what the next few hours are going to be. Yep. You asked for this. Yes. This is what you did. And there was numerous conversations, not only with each other, but amongst ourselves in our brains going, wow, tomorrow's going to suck, mm-hmm. but can't fly into a tornado. No, can't do it. What do you want us to do? Yeah. And we're sitting at this bar in Keith's basement that was... Top notch. Oh yeah, great wood on this guy's ball. So mm-hmm. nice. we're talking about it. It's enough for like ten people to just be pounding okay. on, okay. and it didn't even <laughs> budge. Nope. One thirty, two a.m. Neighbors might have heard a drum kit going off because we were seeing how sturdy this bar was, and it was. It was beautiful. Foreman, that's what's going to be. It's time for us to to be doing the news. Okay. okay. Ladies and gentlemen, new segment. Doing the news. Doing the news. Doing the news. Doing the news with Tone Digs on this Feel Good Friday. Why yep. don't we do some of the news that we missed and maybe keep us updated on things that we haven't chatted about? We have mentioned some of the bigger stories, obviously. Doing, doing the, the news, news, doing the news, doing the news, doing the news with Tom Diggs. That's the best. Uh, we've covered we some of the. <laughs> I didn't know this. I didn't know this was happening. This is awesome. Well, maybe if you showed up on Every time, you would know. Hey, can you can you please go through that yeah, door? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Please, please. Here we go. <laughs> can you please? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> we're not like the biggest segment show. You know, we don't really no, no. like uh-uh. to plan or think things out, but. When some people get back at 4.30 a.m. because tornadoes held up a plane on a trip back from Pittsburgh, and there might have been some alcohol. Not yet. Not yet. Hold on. Not Wait. yet. Hold, De- hold. Not yet. Hold. That wasn't my fault. It's playing in Bill's office, and I heard the jingle, and it said, with Tony. Dick- that was the last. He's okay. 30 seconds yeah, behind. Is. This is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was great. That was great. You, you want to blow down to take one? Holy shit. That was incredible. How about the graphic? I, I mean, gra- look, look, at, look at this. <laughs> he took that this morning. Yeah. It was incredible. Just so you know, a little inside baseball. Tone hates this. Oh, yeah. So much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's so mad. He's right He's so mad that we're doing this. Oh, dirty. Good graphic, buddy. Dirty way Woo. to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's time that we start beat. Doing the news, doing the news, doing the news, doing the news with Tom Diggs. Let's go, Tom. Let's do the news. Come on, Tom. Big intro. Okay, big hype. Let's hear what it's all about. Believe me, I'm just a little, little, uh, little zeked up after watching doing the news with uh, Tone. That was pretty amazing. Speaking of. Because uh, we are now on a uh, on a new channel, it actually it actually makes sense because uh, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. We're on ESP News, doing the news, doing the news on ESP News with Tone Diggs. Tone, keep doing the news on ESP News. Please. Yes, I can. In the first hour, we covered some big, yeah. big, big oh. news, Pat. We talked about the retirement of Aaron Donald, which was huge, unexpected news today. We we covered all of that. We covered the Hollywood Brown to the Chiefs traded. No, sorry, trade. I did that again you last hour. Son of a that. We're on because he got traded. Hey, Tony, we're on ESPN, ESPN news. news, doing the news. Doing the news on ESP News. <laughs> now is not the time, okay, for you to bobble a trade or a signing. We're, right. we're on ESP <laughs> News. Doing the news. Okay, so let's make sure we tighten it up a little bit. Skull. I won't be doing that, but Skull. I hope Aaron Jones does well. 
Skull. It's not against the Packers. Skull. 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 Fight. Yeah. Good for Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones did a lot for you. No, I agree. Why don't you care about Aaron Jones? I do. Oh, this is what's wrong with the Packers. No, no, no. Society. I was not saying. And society as a whole. I was not saying anything. I just said, hey, I want him to do well. I hope he does well. Aaron Jones, consummate professional, consummate team guy. Just don't want him to do all against the Packers. I love that we just did the news. Honestly, you did fantastic. Thank you. We'll revisit next hour because we're going to run out of juice here at some point. There's a lot of news. We just got done doing Doing the news. news. Doing the news. Doing the news. Doing the news. We met him one time, right? He was there for Pizza Hut. Yeah, that's right. Brought you guys pizza. No sauce. Immediately, it was just like, oh, yeah, of course he's the dude. Of course this guy likes Pizza Hut. Yeah, duh. He gets it. He did bring a pizza with no sauce, so it was almost like a uh, cheese bread. But like, Yep, banana peppers, peppers, sausage. And uh, no sauce. No sauce, yeah. It was great. We ate the sh- It was great. Yeah. We, we did. We had, did. Look how big you're Look at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that oh, I forgot he had ice cold dues there, too. Oh, oh man. Yeah. The things I would do for an ice cold <laughs> dew right now. Yeah, he was great on our program. <laughs> he, was. he was awesome. Can we order a couple ice yeah. cold dew? <laughs> 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 Talk, 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 we need that now. We need that now. On this Silk and Friday. You brought your telescope to the. <laughs> had to. Yeah, that was my that was my uh, what was that thing? What's Spotter? that? Monster. Well, monster. Yeah, monster. Monster. That, did that make the move? Nah, it's up in the front. Okay, I just heard it's up in the front. If we need okay. it, it's, that was that thing. Remember, that's where Ty got pushed off the stage by Drew Brees. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, you look like back. a young man right there. Yeah, about probably about you know 25, 30 pounds lighter then. I, I, so I thought you were going to say 25, 30,000 Jack and diets ago. Well, that's that's a given. <laughs> that's but <true. laughs> yeah, I thought. That was fun. Hey, Aaron, thank you for everything you did. What oh. town? What came first? Uh, Westport. Okay, nice. Oh. That's a really good town. Okay. Okay. That's a really good town. That was the town where you're not allowed to coach your kids, right? Or are you allowed to? Yeah, I, I could do it. I've always done it in lacrosse. Yeah. You never played, so probably a great coach. What's your problem? <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> what, what's this guy's what? problem, Dan? I mean, he looks I the part. I feel like I got to put, uh, put my TV on just to make sure that I can keep an eye on Boston Connors, like, Body language. Oh yeah. Well, oh, you. I mean, just hopefully you're still with us once we're off TV, Dan. Because I got something to show you. No, 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 no. That is not happening. Oh, I know. That is not the case. No, it has to happen. What do you want to show me? This is not happening. No, no, no. no. It, can't, not, it can't happen. This actually. is not how. Yeah, this is not how this particular. How, AJ, just. I'm sure you could put your little toxic brain to work <laughs> and figure it out. I agree, and yeah, we'll find out. But he throws heat. We're talking Paul yeah. Skeens. Yeah, yeah, we are Boom. talking Paul well, Skeens. Well, 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 we're, talking, we're talking Paul Skeens. When we were watching that Michigan-Alabama game, he rolled to his right and threw these same two balls. It was, the first one was picked, but it wasn't picked. And then he, later in the game, he did the same thing. That thing was coming 102. Yeah. yeah. And in there, it was like, this cannon. guy's got a cannon. Does he? Yeah. Not yeah. as much Paul Skeens. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't no Paul Skeens. Yeah. They're saying that glove, the Zero. pop, sounds like shotgun. Sit down. Opening day pitcher, right? Opening yeah. day? Yeah. You're damn right. They should be. Baseball stinks, though. Jeez, dude. Dan, I <laughs> Thank mean, you, Dan, Dan. <laughs> you tell me, is the first pick of the draft not supposed to be the guy for your team? That's not yeah, baseball. Absolutely. But baseball yeah, but in that's not really happened. He'll be there Jackson in 10 Holiday is going to be a superstar. He wasn't, he, you know, he's, he's not necessarily balling night. at. Major League Baseball yet? Yeah, I saw that he guy hit a college, nuke. Though. Yeah, well, Very young. We got Cruz O'Neill hitting more home runs than Bingo. anybody else. Mm-hmm. We got Paul Skeens striking somebody out doing what? What, what, what do you do? Huh? Who is it? 101. Cru- Cruz O'Neill. Okay. Cruz, Cruz Missile. O'Neill, O'Neill. O'Neill Cruz. The Cruz, yep. the Cruz, yep. uh, Cruz O'Neill Missile. There's no, too many Cruises. No, you're Incoming. saying like in the program, Cruz, comma, O'Neill. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. I'm reading them. I'm scoring. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're scoring. Yeah. That's what I do for yeah. baseball. And then Skeens, comma, comma, fucking ball. Skeens, comma, fall. Yeah. yeah. And what he strikes out, I think 101. 101, 101, 102, or 101, 102. Yeah. 101, dude, he's Gash. Yeah. Strike one. I want to see him play. Soon. Strike two. You will in Indiana. I mean. Strike three. You're not going to catch up to 102, pal. Sorry about it. Yeah, we'll have a chance to watch him downtown for at least a month. Oh, he's going to be on the Indianapolis baseball team. He's yeah, what, what's he, their name? You can say Indianapolis what? You can say they haven't changed it. Indians. Yeah. Whoa. Well, you hear this are guy, they, Dan? That's yeah. the team, oh, Dan. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> they don't get canceled. I don't, know. I don't know. Honestly, it's an interesting sitch. I don't know. I, I am not. It's Connor's shirt. Maybe. No, so well, we could. When Paul Skeens goes like this, though, 
Yeah. They know it's coming. Yeah, and that's more of a straight line out. throwing. Yeah, he's going straight over top. Get yeah, Manski. Uh, get, yeah, Tom, 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 Tom Manski. Tom Manski. Yes. Fred McGriff. Yep. yep. This is the instructional video that works. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Really like <laughs> Guy was in the outfield, caught it. Yep. Crow hop, perfect. Boom, yep. right into the bucket. Go to the guard play. Scans. Yep. Mm-hmm. Did you play baseball? Were you going to bet your quarterback? Obviously, played baseball. That's normal. Yeah, I was an unbelievable little league baseball player, and then I turned 13 and I sucked. That happens. What happened? Just couldn't throw a damn strike? But you're throwing gas. Yeah. Dude, uh, that's because I'm telling you, when I was 12 years old, I was bigger ish. I Andrew's would like strike out five. everybody. I hit 25 home runs as a 12 year old, 26 home runs, 12 year old. 13 years old, I was batting practice pitcher for everybody. It was just. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You couldn't hit meatballs? anymore. Everyone catch up. What, do you have a mustache in like fourth grade and everyone caught up to you? No, I hit puberty real late. I was I was oh. a junior in high school when I went through puberty. Wow. That's probably why you sucked at baseball. Is that what you think it was? I just ended up sucking. I don't know why. Did you have a jump or were you just throwing just meatballs right down? What were you I would just throw. I, it was weird. I threw hard as a 12-year-old. I didn't as a 13-year-old. I threw a football far, but I couldn't throw a baseball hard anymore. You found your calling. It was the universe. Yeah. Yeah. God. Who's God? Who's yeah. God? Yeah. Thank you, God. Yeah. Thank you, God. I love it. It's not his fault. Is Gary V. Tall? Huge. Yeah. Like yeah. 6'5", something like that. What are you talking about, dude? The, oh, optimist is, the optimistic otter? You ever heard of it? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> What's your fucking deal? I'm out of here. You want to see the eager eagle? I do want to see show the eager eagle. So, come on! Eager eagle. Jesus, 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 Jesus landed. Jesus landed. Jesus landed. Jesus landed on his feet. Jesus That's what we're landed. About. That's what we're Good talking sign. about. Great sign. Wow. Holy shit. That's incredible. And he's dancing. He's Jesus dancing. landed. And he's dancing. Whoa. <laughs> Is that really Jesus? Yeah. yeah. You tell Whoa. me, Dan. Whoa. Whoa. This guy's Whoa. a fraud yeah. god. Look, I'm still dancing. Hey. Jesus Christ! Jesus, Jesus it's Christ. like he's on water. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Wow. Good sign, guys. I would say, like even that. your shit turns to roses. Yeah. Yeah, because you threw the eager eagle over here. Well, right I, thought it was, I thought it would fucking I, soar hey, for me. I have my Bible here just so like this moment doesn't... All right, open time. one. Oh, no. oh, I want a random opening. Yes. Can I get that of like that? King's James? And I would like Tell to... Tell me eat. when to stop. Okay, this is like a magic trick. I got it. It's a big it, book. It's not in frame. Uh, ah. there you oh, go. there you go. Oh, I see highlighter in there. That's highlighter. deeper than me. Oh, ah. That's an old. Whoa, ah. whoa. Oh, you, you skipped the one you wanted. All right, I get it. Classic <laughs> I'll do it again, Pat. Ready? Well, we're never going to get go. that page. How back. old is it? Did you get that from the apostles? Did Jesus Christ write that one? <laughs> oh, look at this. No, that's not the one I want. You're, you're doing a lot of work in that. Yeah. One. Is it Are the pic- pages sticking is it, together? Is it a picture of Porno Megan? <laughs> All right. All right, come on. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's oh, I didn't know that was in there. Oh, that is awesome. Hey, I'm happy we had right, that moment. I'm going to stop. Okay. Stop. That one has a hole in it. Whoa. Stop. Oh, well, wait, wait. What are you doing? Can you not hear? When does the Bible I, cut I off? I mean, there's sound? a delay or something, but I don't know what to tell you. I'm in the book of John. Ooh. Oh, good one. We like That's the book of John. Nice. Hey, John really did some shit. He's a big dog. What, what does that one say there? What is, uh, just, if you, which, uh, what is the, enlighten me, please. We don't have to stand? No. I don't know. Yeah. What, uh, what is, is this like, do I treat this like a prayer right now? Am I going to yeah. head down here? No. no, I'm just sitting here okay. listening. No, yeah. it's like a, it's like a no, like I mean, James this Winston. Is, this is word like John's. Lord. This is his eyewitness accounts of Jesus changes water to wine in John two. Classic. Come on. Dog changes water okay. into wine. Okay. Jesus talking to Nicodemus. Oh, wine guy. How, how's Nicodemus feel about all these zins? That's who Nick was named. Samaritans <laughs> healing at the pool. That's a big story. John four. John two. Gumpy does it. Some good stuff in the book of John, bud. Okay. Hey, you know what? Someday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Palm, so, hey, Easter, right around the corner. You, you got your palms yet, Dan? Attaboy, Ty. Uh, no. Get them. Next, ne- next Sunday. Not Su- this upcoming Sunday. Next Sunday. Sunday, March next 30. Palm, Sunday, Palm Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Easter's the 31st. Yep. Sunday, Sunday, March 31st. Good 31st. Friday, right around the corner. Eat your fish today. People are grown. People are palm. Uh, you get palm. Uh, P.S. Palm. Jeez, dude. Jeez, dude. Little palms. P.S. What? Dan. What the palm, hell are uh, palms? Palm, palm. Palm, like, palm Sunday, dude. Yeah, palm. They laid the palms. Mm-hmm. They laid like the palm trees. They laid them at the ground as Jesus went through the village. So you guys get palm trees? Yep. Everybody. How do you get those? Like little bamboo trees? Like, it's just like little little palms. It's it's not like a full like, tree. Like, like the like, leaves. A, the leaves. Yeah. yeah. Like essentially like a, a palm leaf. You know, it almost looks like a 
like a long fern, I guess you could say. It kind of looks like the plants that are in dunes that you walk towards the ocean. Kind of like oh, those. Yeah, I've, I've seen that, yeah. We're learning I know Great what you're analogy. talking about. Yeah. I know Where the like, ticks hang out. Yeah, because they got that thing. Yep. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you did say we're going to do the stations across uh, this year on Good Friday, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, are we nailing it to the cross? <laughs> All right. This guy's impossible. I'm done. I'm sorry. This guy's impossible. I mean, I've kept the shirt down, haven't I? Yeah, thank you for being an adult. <laughs> thank you for being an adult. Now's not the time. I know. <clears throat> All right, we're going to move along here. We apologize for eating up your day. Thank you for introducing a little Book of John. That made me feel good. Boys, have a good weekend, man. We needed your juice today, you know? Yeah. And your mom. I got you, bud. And your mom. Great I got mana. you. We need your mom. Uh, Bruce Great did want to send a message to Dan that Staples across stinks and that they'll never be good. That's the number one ranked public uh, public institution program in the country. No, right it's now, not. They're do. third in the FCAC it's- and will never be higher. Wow. It is the number one Bruce. public school Whoa, across Bruce. the world. You can't be, Bruce. Just, we got beef. We'll never be Darian or New Caney. Bob. Who? They blew the doors off at Darian two years ago. Oh, they're back two back years ago? Champions. Who cares? They're, 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 <laughs> they're the back-to-back Listen. defending state champions. Their coach is a stud. Their right. goalie's going to Carolina. Their Ooh. midfielder or tack kid's going to Notre Dame. Stop it. What's, What's that class double L? Oh, jeez. Oh, double got him. L. We got a real coast of beef going on. That's Bruce Brown. Dan, you should, you Dan, should Dan, your fine. mortal enemy. Oh, you shouldn't pay no. attention. He tried to tell me today that a Connecticut high school football team would beat a Pennsylvania high school football team, and I said, "There's Who not." Who said that? Bruce. We should set that up preseason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Bruce. I mean, it depends on what team, but it could happen. Like the the team in Avon Old Farms in Connecticut could beat some really PA teams. That's, sure. that's a prep school, though. Hold that on, they're count. the uh, the what the Beavers. The uh, yes, the, the uh, wind uh, people was good. Who? The winged. winged Fernandez Beavers. Uh, he, he, he AJ, it, <laughs> Oh, my bad. I thought Pat was talking to me. His team was great. <laughs> they well, were that's good. not a highlight. Yeah, yeah, highlight. No, they weren't. There's well, a lot of highlights coming. But he, I'm they, sure. Him they, they, and his brother. Jeez, we. Yeah, the quarterback. So, um, our Plum High School team, I just found out. We got moved into, a, we got moved into a division. <laughs> Tough. Yeah. We back up in five. Oh, better one. An uphill battle. Yeah. You know Aliquippa? You ever heard of that place? Oh, yeah. Aliquippa, PA, we're a uh, bunch of kids that I played college football with. We used to have this guy named Peanut. He used to walk around and say, Aliquippa, baby. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. So there's, Peanut is a legend. I can already tell. Yeah. But yeah. That, that is. He's the best. It's like every college has an Aliquippa guy there. And it's this school uh, in Western Pet. Yeah, we're playing them every year now. I think that's good. Oh, that's crazy. isn't that um, Revis. is it that where uh, Revis is from? Yeah, oh yeah, Ty Law too. Ty Law, yeah. Yeah. yeah, shout out. Yeah, yeah. There was I think Lusaka. It was just some eye-open experiences when you're around the kids from Al oh, Football. Oh, oh no, Bruce. Oh, Bruce. Ooh, Game no, time, no. Connecticut Bruce. top ten boys lacrosse bowl final in 2023. It's fun. this is over. First place. Staples lacrosse. That's why Dan Orlovsky's wearing this medium shirt across his chest. Yep. Bruce, you no, think I just he's going to wear play basketball? So this is the shirt I had. Yeah, but you're not going to wear number two around. Time. No. Uh-huh. How does this shit work? They were still third oh. in the in the county. Oh, I don't even know how it works, oh. Bruce. Oh no, in the um, county they're third, but in the state they're number one. That's wild. That's they might have finished third in the FCAC tournament, but they no. finished first in, in the state and record. won state championship. Oh, they won state. This they're year. seventeen and five, Cheshire. Is nineteen and three. Cheshire, who's be- yeah, Cheshire's who's beat? Cat. Cheshire. 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 Uh, Cheshire. They lost. They Cheshire lost a, good team. Cheshire's a couple of there, state man. teams. Two more years. Get to thirty-three. Retire as, you know, a top five greatest defensive player in the history of the NFL, and then go be an action movie star, which I think he'll probably do next. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Is that was that a scoop? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you're just. Scoopage. We were kind of. Did he tell you that? Jake Glazer didn't tell us that. Scoop. I mean, he, he probably knew, obviously, after Hollywood, but. Scoopage. Like, he is. Um, he's so jacked. I mean, jacked. jacked. He's he is, so, so jacked. He'd be he's perfect. very jacked. And, like, I th- that was when. I thought he was going to retire two years ago. You remember this? He told the Rams he was going to retire. They ended up with a new contract. Right. I thought he was going to go be an action movie star. He would be amazing. Uh, he's good at basically everything. So, like, that makes sense. Just like James Harrison. I cannot, yeah. I, I cannot believe that oh. the NFL was just about to take over the action movie biz. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Love it. That's amazing. Well, yeah, Gronk's. I was going to say, Gronk had quite the well, lucrative Well, that was the career. thought. Instead, it's become pundit. He's a good mm-hmm. pundit. He's oh. on TV. Vernon Davis. Well, he, Vernon Davis he, is currently he, acting. He's he dominating the straight to DVD bin. <laughs> Come on. Who is the... Whoa. Who is the... <laughs> Whoa. What? <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait till Russ Wilson gets in the game. I cannot believe this. <laughs> what is that about? Well, well I just let's not know. talk about dominating the fucking action genre when PC's still kicking. All right. Well, let's, I heard he's, he's got revenge body. Well, what, what, well, what was the comment you That's made? huge. <laughs> what was straight to the DVD bin. Yeah, he's dominating the straight to DVD bin. There's nothing wrong with that. We need guys to do that. I don't even think that exists anymore. <laughs> it doesn't, unfortunately. <laughs> now it's the straight to the bottom of the Netflix shit heap bin. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you, <laughs> Netflix probably going to be watched by somebody. Yeah, for, sure. for sure. For sure. It's on Apple. So many different services these days. So many. I'll just bounce into one if I can't find anything, and I'm like, I didn't know they had a documentary on aliens that visited you. <laughs> 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 I'll get four minutes through it, and I'm like, oh, I'm not fucking wise. Why, why I haven't heard about this? <laughs> yep. All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. And then the top 10, you trust the top 10. You turn on the number one thing on the top 10. It fucking sucks.